Hey yo, hey yo, what's good everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the late night Pokemon card stream. It's your boy, Dama, and I want to welcome you all to the birthday stream. Woo! It's your boy's birthday, technically as of like 11 minutes ago. That's kind of cool, right? Cool. Uh, I'll be honest. It feels like another day, <laughs> but let's make a let's make an event out of it. Let's have fun with it. I got some beer. Uh, we're gonna be giving away probably more stuff than I have advertised uh, so far, but we'll get there when we get there. Let the drinks flow, and then I'll probably add more stuff to give away. Um, but yeah, I got some peaches. They're fucking good. I have some beer. Hopefully, my joins us for one or two. We'll see. And let's get the links out, man. Let's get all the links out and get everything going here. Okay. All right. Let's get all the links out. We'll be rocking and rolling here. So how's everybody doing? Happy Saturday night, y'all. Happy Saturday night. So I'll explain everything um, about like everything we're going to be doing tonight, how we're going to be going about it, what we got to do to start off stream, and uh, we will go from there. So let's do control V. It's so hard to do this with the beer right in front of me. I'm going to put this here for a second. Put <laughs> that there for a second. And then we're going we're gonna to get into this. Uh, okay. Control C. Control V. At everyone. Birthday, birthday stream. Huge Umbreon giveaway. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Cool. So it's good, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to stream. Very happy to have everyone here tonight. Looking forward to a fun stream ahead of us. Uh, so yeah. To start off the stream, these things aren't cold. I'm going to put the rest in the fridge to get them a little cold. But before I do that, I'm going to have a peach. That shit fire. <laughs> no, they always told me, you don't have to eat sweets. You can just eat fruit. And I was like, that's some bitch shit. That's some, no way. It's not the same. And then I had, uh, then I had peaches. And now it's just my life's changed. Anyway. Very excited to be here, everybody. Um... So tonight's big giveaway, I want to show you guys. Tonight's big giveaway, right? Here's here's the big giveaway. We're going to give it away tonight no matter what we do in sales tonight. Doesn't matter what we do in sales tonight. We're going to give this away. So if you make an order tonight, you will get entries for this. Uh, we are about to start reserves for the lucky bags, which is really fun. Reserves are big. A lot of people are very interested in that. Uh, here's what we got. Here we go. We're going to be giving on this guy away. It's a near mint uh, Japanese Neo 2 Umbreon holographic. He's like 100 bucks. I say that we're giving him away now, and that's the only thing we're giving away, but I don't believe myself. I feel like if I have a couple beers in me, I might throw a random fucking bigger slab to give away uh, just to kind of, you know, celebrate. What are we celebrating? Fuck it. Fuck if I know. I don't, <laughs> I'm not winning tonight if I'm giving shit away, but that's what I like it. It's not about you guys being like, oh, here's $100. Treat yourself. I don't give a fuck. I want to get back to you guys, right? You guys are the reason I can do this uh, most fucking days of the week, and I appreciate that. So I'm going to try and get back to you guys, and we'll start with the Umbreon, and we'll, we'll we'll work our way up. So this guy, no matter what we do in sales tonight, we're giving him away. Make an order, and you have very good fucking odds of winning that. Um, besides that, let's have a drink, and I'll read chat, and we'll just we'll get going here. I haven't drank a fucking beer in a minute, but I, I enjoy this kind of beer. It's it's nice. It's It tastes like lime. Lime's good, right? Bud Light's solid. Yeah, I'm chilling with it. All right. Let's 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 do it. You ready? Here we go. I can't... I can't chug like I once was able to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get used to that shit. Okay, what's up? Not your typical Pokemon card birthday live stream. Now, I just want to... I just want to preface before we get into this. There are some great birthday Pokemon live streams on this platform. You got ones like Professor Metri, where he has an abundance of beautiful packs that he opens with his friends and family. It is quite literally my favorite live stream to watch in the Pokemon scene yearly. This is nothing like that. This isn't close in quality. This is, not, <laughs> this is, this is dog shit compared to that. But we're still going to have fun. All right? We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Uh, thank you to all the birthday wishes. Let's read chat, and uh, let's, uh, let's get going. Happy birthday, boo. <laughs> What's up, FOMO? Thank you. Lucky Gil. Hi, happy birthday. Thank you, Gil. Adam, happy birthday. Thank you, Adam. Kaiser, hello, everyone. Happy birthday. Thank you, Kaiser. 
Solar Coffee, yo, yo, yo. Felix Martin Stein, happy birthday, strange man. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate that. Jesus Christ, waiting in the dark, I could open a damn box of Korean 151 for me. Been an hour. <laughs> Dude, that's, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. When, when you're at uh, crowded break streams, it can take a while to do orders. And it, it, is it really anyone's fault? I mean, maybe. Maybe it's the streamer's not quick enough. You know, I'm pretty quick. You know, I'm pretty fast with it. I don't know. Uh, no, it's not, it's nobody's fault. It's just, it can take a while. Um, what is good, you all you smexy peeps? Happy B-Day, Mayo Man. Thank you, Hee Hee. I appreciate it. Uh, you're giving out a gift on your B-Day? Exactly. That's how that works, right? <laughs> You know, you know, in 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 Japan on Valentine's Day, the girl gives the guys a gift. It's actually the other way around, so it's kind of like that. It's like I'm giving you guys some shit. I like that. I like that idea. Uh, I'm about done with those kinds of streams, dude. I feel you. I feel you, man. I feel you. Um, this card, the card looks sad. The car looks sad. My car? It was trash all over. How do you and my celebrate? We didn't celebrate it yet. My birthday is technically 17. It started 17 minutes ago. If we're being technical of date. Um, so we haven't, we haven't really, we haven't celebrated it yet. I don't, I'm not big though. I don't really like doing crazy shit. I just like kind of enjoying myself and being relaxed. You know what I mean? Shiny Umbi. I'm drinking with you. Corona. Fucking cheers. Let's get it. And chug the lime. Sh can't chug the lime. Sheesh. FOMO. Chill, chill, chill. I'm new. I'm new. I'm just getting back. Happy birthday, fatty. Thank you, sweetheart. How you doing, Edwin? Uh, I recently became drinking age in Germany. Okay, that counts. <laughs> uh, FOMO, Daddy, Dad, happy birthday. What's good, Lemon Smill? Thank you very much. Father, back from the store with the cigarettes, as always. Happy birthday, Dom Lama. Thank you very much, Mal. I appreciate that. Okay, happy birthday, big guy. Thank you, smart as you. First, happy birthday, babe. Thank you very much, sweetheart. I love you. Thank you so much. All right. So... Y'all ready for tonight stream? Are y'all ready? I, don't know, I thought that was going to be more fun. Y'all ready? I'm ready for tonight. Um, here's what we're going to do to start off. I'm going to finish this, and then we're going to open up one to just sip, and then we'll get into orders. I'll explain what's going on tonight, and we'll just kind of we'll rock with it. All right? Going to be a fun stream. So how it works beforehand. One, one sec. These things are just call my fucking name, dude. So good. Hmm. We are starting reserves. The second I get done this beer and stop being a bitch, we're going to get right into lucky bag reserves. There are 10 bags available. The high tier bag is pushing, or I believe, around 600 So spend $100, get a $600 bag, take home 500 profit. That sounds like a fun night to start with. We also have our lucky bag incentive giveaways. If these 10 lucky bags go tonight, we will be giving away tonight this Gardevoir SAR Gemmit Tent. That is the lucky bag incentive. But on top of that, we're also doing, we're going to do multiple giveaways tonight, but this is the first one. I'll think of more when I have more alcohol in me. The first one we're going to do is the uh, Nirin 8 Umbreon Hollow Neo 2. I feel like it's a nice $100 slab to start it off, get the ball rolling. If a lot of orders are coming in, we'll up the ante. We'll add something else in there, make it even more, and uh, we'll go from there. Looking forward to tonight. If you want to get a spot in the Lucky Bag Reserve, send 100 now. There's 10 spots left. Let's finish this beer and let's get to streaming, all right? Glad to have you all here. Super excited for tonight. Uh, if you have a drink, drink with your boy, all right? If you don't drink, that's fine, too. I typically don't, but a little special occasion night. A little special occasion weekend. I'm, I'm, I'm letting it slide tonight. I'm going to cut the cord a little bit and, you know, give a little into it, all right? Here we go. Cheers. Not a lot of beer here, but we're just going to fucking... You ready? Here we go. Don't be a bitch. You know? All right, we are, if you ask Ryan, we already are drinking watery-ass beer, but hey, Ryan, guess what? Fucking this shit's good. That's not enough. It's not enough, Dad. All right, sweet. Let's get going, everybody. Let me see if this works. That doesn't work. So our, our fucking camera doesn't work yet. Let me fix that. We're going to work. Oh, there, that kind of counts. Not really. What the fuck's going on here? All right. Let's make this work. <laughs> Put these beers down here. I'll have to, we'll, we'll get to them. So, yes, 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 yes. I'm excited for tonight. I hope you all are as well. We're probably going to be giving a lot of things away tonight. I, I don't know exactly what yet. Uh, yo. <laughs> um, but, yeah. 
So, 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 so. All right. We're giving this bitch away. I know that much. We're giving this away. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't even care to write anything crazy on it. Is that a crack or a hair? It's a hair. That's a fucking dog hair. Well, you guys can keep it. It's a souvenir. Whoever gets it. You can have a piece of my dog's hair. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna write on it free. Free. Nightly. There is no objective in terms. N-I-G-H-T-A. I fucking spelled nightly wrong. <laughs> free. Nightly. Giveaway. Sweet. All right. Free nightly giveaway. Sweet. It's this guy. I know it's terrible. That looks god awful. We're giving... I'm going to fix that. God damn. <laughs> I'll deal with it in a second. We're going to give that away tonight. It's a nightly giveaway. Uh, we're probably going to give away more, though, to keep that in mind. Krabby's dead. That's good. Uh, here are the bags that are left for the reserves, everybody. Here are the current bags left for the reserves. We have Ninetales, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Eggs, Hypno... Dragonite, Jolteon, Oddish, Krabby, and Dugong. I will make a deal with you guys. If we go through... If we go through this entire round... If we finish off the reserves tonight, I will make the next Lucky Bag Chase Bag pretty fucking insane. I'll make it... I'll make it something a lot of you guys are just chasing and trying to do on your own, but I'll save you the time and effort and just put all the slabs in 10 in there for you. Um... I I'll promise you that. You guys like all the 151 Chase SIRs in 10? I can do that. Well, at least the main guys. I have them. The main boys, like the Char, the Blast, and the Venusaur. We can do that. Put them all in the next round as the Chase bag. I think the total value of that is probably somewhere around like 700 fucking dollars. So like seven or eight, right? Somewhere in there? I don't know. Yeah, they, they got to be. It has to be because the fucking IRs are fucking 130, 120, 130. So the I S yeah. Okay. So we can do that. That's kind of cool, right? We could do that. Um, so let's keep going. I did get some more gas gas boys in today. I got some gases in today. Um, these are the ones I, I picked. I paid a little more for and because they all look really fucking good. I'm hoping that one of these guys is going to be uh, a black label contender. I'm hoping. So you can see the centering is really nice on all of them. These are the nicest centering and non-whitening based fucking gaslies I saw in the entire market. Out of like not e out of probably like six to seven hundred on market. These are like the top fucking five. Uh, they all look really good. They all have a really good shot at Beckett, and I'm sending them all to Beckett. We're gonna see if one of those can complete the pipe dream black label. If it doesn't happen, I'm not gonna cry about it. It just it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We're we're gonna we're gonna fucking man up, try it. If it doesn't work, okay. If it works, cool. Then we we have fucking prestige. Anyways, let's uh, let's get Q up, get Q up and running. All right, let's get the old queue up and running. Let's read chat. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, let's see. Um, what did I miss? Uh, wait, has water been German this whole time? Water, happy birthday. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate it. Kieran, happy birthday. Thank you, Kieran. I appreciate it, man. Oh, snap, it's your B-Day. Time for your, your yearly b -shay. Let's go. I'm waiting for this guy to open my Korean stuff, and then I'll be back. Can't watch the stream at the same time, but I'll be back. I'll, I'll get the stream rolling for you, though. Hey, thank you, Pokemon. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, my normie for time for the soapbox. Dama W, what's good, Freeze? He, I'll never ignore you. Actually, Edwin, it's a monthly thing. Yeah, it's a monthly thing, Edwin. I get one a month. Today's the day I get to, you know, put the coupon in the hole. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to. I forgot I blocked you. You're all I have left. Um, monthly tips, Cap. <laughs> Alrighty. Someone get that man a, a Killian's Irish Red Ale. I'm down to try. What bags are left? The bags that are currently left for this round of re reserves are Ninetales, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Eggs, Hypno, Dragonite, Jolteon, Oddish, Krabby, and Dugong. A bunch of not super, super desirable Pokemon, but hey, one of them's chilling with it. Moonbrian, what up? How is everyone? Krabby hitting the family guy. <laughs> Welcome to the gamers, Freeze. I appreciate that. My cat is harassing me because I'm eating Lucky Charms on my bed. <laughs> All right, let's check Q. Let's refresh the Q. See what's going on here. So to start off the stream, my man Pokemon sent through a hundred dollars, and he said Jolteon in chat. Let's take a look. Can I? Can the streak continue? All right, Pokemon, you are going to reserve Jolteon. You're going to be the first one in this round of reserves. So let's get you going with that. There's going to be Pokemon on Jolteon. So we will not open these until every single bag has been reserved tonight. Uh, duh, 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 LB 
Reserve. All righty. LB Reserve, Jolteon, where the frick is my tape? Here it is. I got the tape. I have the tape. All right. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. I heard it was someone's B-Day. Came out to show my love. Happy B-Day, Donald. Thank you very much, Tyson. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, brother. How you, how you been holding up, man? How is how is the drinking yesterday? A little, a little hungover? Did you eat the greasy food like I told you? It works a fucking charm, dude. I'm telling you, anytime I get, like, too drunk. I haven't done it in a while, but the last time I did, I had some greasy-ass food. Nick just, like, I was, I was good to go. It's crazy. It was just, like... Any other time, I'm like, it's like sleep and then wake up, grease food, greasy food, you're good. It's like you're, you're fucking solid. Um, he's good. Sorry, I was giving the little one a bath. What's good, Don? Been a mile. How you doing, Miss Shion? How you been? Uh, da -da -da. Elijah, happy birthday. Been a while. Work is crazy. No, I get it, brother. I get it. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Happy birthday, my guy. What's good, Chopper? How you doing, brother? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Since it's Thomas B Day, I won't be a, b a bitch to anyone. In any to the <laughs> That's my gift. Everyone should like the stream. Had a large slice of pizza. That'll fucking do it. That'll. Mm, I, that's it. That's it. That's all you need. All righty. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Take a quick look. Next up in the old Q ski, my boy Edwin. My man Edwin sent through ten dollars. I believe it's for shipping, right, Edwin? Let's take a look here. Edwin said $10 uh, Mew Break. Oh, Edwin wants to get on the Mew Break? Hell yeah, dude. So Edwin's going to get a spot on the Mew Break. Nice, nice, nice. Edwin, you're going to get spot 15 on the Mew Break. Edwin. All right, Edwin, you're going to get spot 15 on the Mew Break. Sweet. All righty. So let me let everybody know in the, in the Discord as well that we're in reserves for the LBs so people are aware. We are now in the reserves for... L B for lucky ba bags. Chase bag is pushing six hundred. If I I think it is, I'm pretty sure. Pretty positive. Could be around five, but I think it's six. I'm gonna we're gonna do fucking six because I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna exaggerate a little. I think it's I don't know. I'm gonna say five. I'm gonna be safe. I don't wanna false advertise. Chase bag is pushed five hundred or it is five hundred, one of the two. Um get in here and reserve till they're sold out into the next round at everyone all right sweet all righty cool 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 all right queues open let's switch the cam and let's get going tonight all righty cool all right y'all what's good what's good what's good what's good so nine bags left do what you want with that and uh i gotta have some Oh, yeah. Woo! And Peter's fucking... Mm. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to rewatch Target. I give up. I still have like 10 minutes. <laughs> let's say this piece to the face. It's too good. It's too good. I want more spots on that Machamp. Sweet card. Get in on it, man. Uh, you, know what I, you know what I'll tell you? I'm going to tell you something. Uh, any of the breaks that we have here, you want to know it's a good way to get in on the breaks without getting in on the breaks, like paying. Do lucky bags. Just do lucky bags. Lucky bags, uh, a good amount of them have break spots. Uh, and the break spots are really good. That's actually how I think Pokemon won the last break. He got break spots from lucky bags. And those break spots won him the break. So, like, if you are if you want to get break spots on one of the breaks, being, be it the Mew or the Machamp, and you want to do lucky bags, do a lucky bag. Because worst comes to worst, you, just, you don't hit any of the breaks on your bag. Best comes to best, you get a really good high tier bag, and you also get break spots on top of that. So it's like you get the best of both worlds with an attempt at a lucky bag versus you, you get the insurance of having your spots on there, though. But, like, I don't know. It's up to you. You guys do whatever you, you weigh out is the better option. I'm going to have another beer. <laughs> I'm just having another fucking beer. All right. You're going to win them all with the luckies. Exactly, man. Them spots, you, you'll get them. Chris DeLeon, happy birthday. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Oh, happy birthday, Dama. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I forgot he had a face. I'll be honest, I'm rooting for Chob, but won't cry if I get the hottie again. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Whoever gets it, I'm going to be happy. I just know we're going to be giving away. Depending on how orders are going tonight is how we're going to kind of rock with uh, giveaways. Um, I would like to give away like some really expensive shit tonight to everybody. Uh, I'll do it if orders are popping. We're going through a lot of bags. You know, everything's moving. And I'll totally do it. If uh, things are a little slow tonight and we're just kind of chilling out, having fun, we'll stick with the we'll stick with the Umbreon. 
Regardless, free stuff, so it can't go wrong, right? Uh, Mal D sent through $10 and said, Mal, bubble mu spot. Sounds good to me, brother. Let's get it going. Now, what's that bubble mu spot? Ooh, a spot on the mu break. Let's get you going. Mal, you're going to get spot number 16. Mal D. All right. Mal D, spot number 16. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. All righty. With that being said, ooh, you guys see you guys see the duo, the dynamic duo, the two chase cards from two generations. It's crazy. It's crazy to think. Which one do you think is better? I like them both a lot. They're very, they're both very nice. They're both just super good. The old Eon twins, and then the Moonbrion. It's crazy. It goes to show you, man, that de de dependent on the generation, any Pokemon can have the crazy chase of that generation. Like Latios, Latias. Nobody would have fucking guessed that. And then Moonbrion. Like, Umbreon's really popular, but I'm sure every generation, everybody's going to guess Charizard, probably. Like, default fucking Charizard. But every generation, there is a card to a, a random fucking Pokemon, usually a popular one or ones, and uh, it's the chase. It's the chase. And uh, it goes to show you, like, Scarlet and Violets, I don't think we have it yet. I genuinely don't think we have it yet. We haven't even hit, like, the back, the back, you know, lot, <laughs> the back part of Scarlet and Violet. I think we got a lot to... We got a lot to, 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 to happen still, I think. Anyways, let's have another drink, shall we? If you're drinking, cheers. Let's have a good one. Hey, man, what's left for Lucky Bags? Let me show you, brother. Let me show you, Lodge. This is what we got left for Lucky Bags in the reserves. There are nine reserve spots left. We have Oddish, Krabby, Dugong. Is there another one? No. Ninetales, Aerodactyl. Ammonite, Porygon, Eggs, Hypno, and Dragonite. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not wait a minute. Do we have eleven bags eleven bags left? Oh, oh maybe I guess we're starting at eleven. That's fine. Whatever. Eleven's fine. Eleven's fine. We'll do eleven. That's it's it's fine. <laughs> we already hit a high two this round, so eleven's fine. That's it's whatever. Alright, let me see. Uh, anyone know how to guarantee a close to MSR, MSRP for 151 reprint? How to guarantee one? You want me to tell you, even though I'm not supposed to? All Poke Gurus and Pokemon streamers are, are, are they're going to hate me for this. I shouldn't tell you this. You want to know exactly how to get a Japanese 151 box at $103 right now? There is a guy on Instagram right now. I'm going to tell you his name. I'm going to tell you exactly his name, and I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you his name, Okay. People are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to tell you his name. His name is Hiro, H-I-R-O, underscore Japan, underscore, underscore, underscore. You go on Instagram, you follow him, you DM him, you say, how much for 151? He's going to tell you, there's a sale right now, 103 for box. That's how you do it. Trust him. I bought from him. He's a good guy. That's how you do it. It's that simple, right? People don't want you to know that. I'll let you know. I don't care. If you're buying from me, you're buying from me under the impression that it's an impulse. It's an impulsive purchase most of the time. You can still do very, very well if you're buying packs off me, but you're gonna pay more because it's impulsive. But if you're gonna buy it for yourself, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you the deets. I'm gonna give you the. You know what I'm saying? Hero or hero? H I R O. Yeah, H I R O. You get the the light back on this. Oh, I know. I oh, it was fine. <laughs> there's there's the insider info. I shouldn't be telling you. But I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you. Happy birthday you know, <laughs> to you guys. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm giving you guys the insider trading info. Hey, sweetheart, you want a beer? Yeah, let's go. Mai's gonna have a beer with us. Hell yeah. Uh, bye is the ghost of the chat. I'm sorry. Who is who's wishy on? Is that Adrian? Adrian? Isn't Adrian the one that said he was gonna? Uh, yeah. uh Adrian, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't do that again. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Also, expect if the drinks are flowing that I'm going to get a little unhinged. So as long as you guys are cool with that. I'm not going to say anything too crazy, but like, you know, I have a little fun. <laughs> so nobody should talk. If you if you got, I'm going to just make a pre a pre warning. Anybody says some like little secondhand comments tonight. I'm talking to you, Kazantha. I'm talking to you. I'm going to fucking go off. <laughs> don't, don't play with me, motherfucker. Got a fucking free card said, he doesn't notice me. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm doing orders. What do you mean? Hey, Ty said thank you so much. 
I'm just fucking with you, Kazanta. But my point is, you know, we're, we're a good community here. If you guys want to fuck with me, throw shots at me. It, if it's playful, let's have fun. Even if it's not playful, I'll still have fun with it. I'm not, this isn't a place where you guys can't throw shots at me. And a good example of that is we can all fuck with each other here and have a good time. It's not a community where if you get if you say something that I don't like, you're going to get fucking crucified and thrown out to the wolves. I, no, man. You can have an opinion here. You can say whatever you want. Right? And that's fair. I feel like that's fair. That's a good place to be because the second people start like attacking you, that's not good. You, it just for no like if you're just attacking people for no reason, that's not good. Get it out. But if you if you have a different opinion and people are just throwing you out, that's not good. So like let's have a good place here. Have your opinion. Tell me to fuck off. I'll tell you to fuck off, and then let's have a beer. Right? Cheers. Anyway. I said nothing yet. See, because Anthony's, it's all fun and games. Every, it's, that's the point here. We fuck with each other. We have fun here. If you get the vibe here, you get the vibe. If you know, I, if I'm calling you, you out ever, just know it's not serious. It's, not, it's never serious. All right. Let's fucking go. Next order, my man Kieran said through $100. I'm assuming for a reserve in the LBs. Kieran, let's get it going, brother. All right. Kieran, Kieran, Kieran. I should probably move this away from the cards. <laughs> Kieran said LB reserve. Kieran, Kieran, let's get it going, man. Kieran, we have Oddish, Krabby, Dugong, Ninetales, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Eggs, Hypno, and Dragonite. Reminder, like I said, if we do go through uh, all these reserve bags, I will add another free slab into the nightly giveaway. A nice one I think you guys will enjoy. So just think about it, right? All right, Kieran, let me know which one you want, brother. Oh, they fell. <laughs> they fucking fell. Alrighty. Let's get back to drinking. Um uh Kanam, if you have Adrian's address and he makes one of those jokes again, just call him. What, what do you say? No, he's talking about Oh, one of those jokes. No, no, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we we're yeah, we're good with that. We're good with that. Me too. I streamed one time, hammer, gave away Zards and shit. Didn't even know what I gave away. It took four hours to figure out what I was yapping about. Dude, it, it just happens. It's it's a part of streaming under the influence. You're going to just kind of go on tangents. And it's usually funny. It's usually a good time. Uh, Kieran said, Hypno, please. 100%, brother. Let's get that for you. Kieran wants the old Hypno. Hypno, hip these nuts. You know what I'm saying? Hypno nuts. <laughs> hypno nuts. I like that. Do gong knees. You know what I'm saying? All right. All righty, here we go. Kieran, let's get you the old hypno bag. That means we have uh, nine bags left. Nine bags left to reserve, I think. I believe so. I believe. All righty. Kieran, LB reserve on the hypno. Sweet. Kieran, you're on the LB reserves. Hell yeah, we got Jolteon and Hypno that have been reserved so far. The other ones remaining are Oddish, Krabby, Dugong, Ninetales, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Execute, Dragonite. Every time you guys reserve a bag, I will be drinking. All right? So every time you reserve a bag for the lucky bag reserves this round, I'll be drinking. So thank you, Kieran. You get me fucked up. I appreciate that. That is a birthday thank you. I, this is, I want this. Have fun. Elijah gifted a membership. Thank you so much, Elijah. Who'd it go to? It go to iFOMO? Hell yeah, dude. I love that. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome. Um, uh, da -da -da -da, Radio Moon said, I am learning Korean. Thomas is learning Korean? Thomas can translate Korean cards for us then. Thomas, I need you. I'm going to need you. If we ever do Korean cards, I'm going to... I'm, I'm looking out for you. Uh, Elijah the goat. Elijah, <laughs> you know who I'm not going to contact if we have other language-based cards? <laughs> the King of Lux says that a plant will win the big boy. I could see it. I could see it. Also, if FPS goes a little wonky at any point, it'll correct itself in a minute. It's just, it happens early stream sometimes. Um, what is his, what does this mean? No problem, FOMO. Hola, what's good, Anusin? How you doing, man? How you holding up, Anusin? What's good, brother? Now I say that for I say that for a reason. Uh, what reason? What reason? No, yeah, I'm totally. Trust me. If if when when it comes to the old uh, people threatening to you know do the old eh, you know what I mean the old not good, I'm good with that. Trust me. I'm we we good with that. We good with that. Any anytime anybody said some shit like that, usually we 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 get pretty serious quick like real quickly and 
you know, take the action needed. Um, it's just there. there's instances where people definitely do it for attention. And you cancel me for it for saying this, but I feel like more often than not, people do it for attention. Uh, you can usually tell when somebody's serious about it, but even in any case, serious or not, you still, you know, try to take the right actions to make sure they're not being serious. Even if they're fucking off and, you know, regardless, I, you know, let's leave that for another whole fucking stream. I don't care about that right now. We're having a good time. Anyways. I love Korean. I love Korean 151. It's like cheap as shit master pulse. Long day, brother. Been moving my nightclub into storage. How has that been, dude? That's crazy. Also, owning a nightclub. That's fucking insane. That's nuts, dude. Uh, personal reasons. No, I feel you. I feel you, Water. I feel you. I tried to do the old eh once, and uh, I was I was I was really good at it. I almost did it, but pff, I fucking lived, and now life's great. <laughs> so like, no, I get it. It's it's uh you know you have to. We all have periods of the life where things are not the best, but life gets better. It always, for the most part, it always fucking does. Just you got to find that. You got to find your will to live. That's that's a hard thing. This you have to find your will to live, and once you find that shit, life gets better. You can't just force that on yourself. Um, Tyson and Choppa, no help. <laughs> Where are they at? Where the fuck are they? Were they drinking? Were they having fun? Those fucking assholes. Happy birthday, Donald. Thank you very much, Kazanth. I appreciate it. Pokemon Master Ball. The Master Balls are solid, dude. I love Master Balls. <laughs> Max is like, I tried to do it three months ago. <laughs> fucking quirky. <laughs> fucking love you, Magus. Holy shit. Mac is funny. Because it's like, it's funny because Macus is, he, he might be dead fucking serious. I, knowing Macus, he probably is. But like, Macus, you always have a place here. Making, count, counting the nightly entries for me. For all time. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, lucky bags, I'd take Krabby. My man Elijah wants the Krabby LB for the reserves. Let's get it, Elijah. Elijah, thank you so much. For grabbing an LB. I appreciate it. Let's get you Krabby, brother. Krabby. How you doing, Crab? My boy Krabby holding that jelly donut. If you get that reference, we're 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 chilling. We're on a good note right now. Uh, if you don't get that reference, that's okay. I'm gonna explain it to you so you can be in on the crew. Basically, in an early episode of the Pokemon anime, uh, Brock referenced in the dubbed version that this was a jelly donut. The reason being because in the Japanese version, uh, this is a rice ball, an onigiri, and English kids don't know what the fuck that is for the most part. So they said D jelly donut, and that's that's how that's how it came to be. Fun fact, right? Elijah, let's get you the old Krabby, the LB reserves. What is it? Oh, she loves the balls? Yeah. We got, like, Tegan those little play balls. Like, they have Chuck E. Cheese's and shit, but, like, tiny ones. Yeah, the ball pit balls. And I guess she's having a fucking hell of a time now, so that's great. Elijah, thank you so much for getting the Krabby. Let's keep it moving. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight. <laughs> we have eight bags left. Eight bags left for the reserve. Uh, when we hit, let's say, five... When we hit five bags left, I'll allow people that have already gotten... You know what? Fuck it. If you want to get... Wait, let me... I fucking wrong way. If you would like to get multiple bags starting right now for the Lucky Bag Reserve, you can. You have full right to. Um, so if you want one, if you want two, if you want three, it's up to you. I don't care. If somebody wants to buy them out, go ahead. Uh, you have all right to right now. I feel like we've given people a good enough time uh, starting when we announced it. So if you want to get multiple, go ahead. Uh, there are eight bags left. So eight bags until we roll. Let's see. Uh, Daddy Daddy Duties is full time for me. A nuisance can barely take a shit in peace. Choppa, my understands that. It's like she, you you guys get it. You guys get it. My my allows it so I can like be a functioning adult in a workspace, and then my takes on the role of being a functioning half-functioning adult in a parent space, which is also a workspace. So it's like... Uh, <laughs> it's like, imagine doing everything you want to do, but then you have to consider your child in every essence of it. So you're like, you're like half... You're like, they're a full human, you're like half human. Because everything you do, you have to consider them. And then on top of that, anytime you want to do something, you have to consider them and how they're going to react in it or what they're going to do in it. You can't sleep unless, like, they're situated. You can't eat unless they're situated. You can't... My goes through it. 
I go through it, but not to the extent that you do. My, my goes through it way more than I do. So, yeah, I'm very thankful for that. Let's see. Happy birthday, Dama. Thank you, Anus, and I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, get Tegan a Pokeball. She would fucking love that. I'll buy a bag for Choppa, but I'm keeping the highest value card or slime. <laughs> Let's do it. Thanks for the jelly donut explanation. They'll definitely gain some knowledge. Yeah, it's like a stupid little thing, but it's funny. Has anyone asked how Maya's doing? No one ever asks. She's... How are you doing? She's horrible. She's terrible. She told me she wants to die. She's going to... <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> good deal. What are you rolling? Uh, so we have a bunch of stuff going on right now. I'll show you. Also, what's good? Fonz, how you doing, brother? Let me show you what we got going on right now. So right now we have this thing. They're called Lucky Bags. They're 100 a bag. And we're in the reserve phase of them. So we have 30 every round. We started a new round yesterday, and we're already into the reserves of this round. Uh, the Chase bag in the last uh, 11 bags here is a bag worth around five to $600. And there's a lot of other ones that are still profitable in that last mix. But... Each one is 100. We have three reserves right now that have been taken up. We have eight left. And uh, on top of that, we have a free nightly giveaway. This is the first free nightly giveaway we have. I'm probably going to add more to it, though. Uh, it's like a $100 uh, Japanese Neo 2 Umbreon Hollow. Why I got an eight? I actually... I see why. Right there. Anyways, <laughs> that's our first giveaway. We're probably going to give away more, though. Uh, as the orders keep flowing, we'll probably add some more things. I've been contemplating tonight giving away a Charizard SIR at a 10. I know it's like 350-ish, I think. Well, I've been, I've been contemplating that. Probably end up will doing it the more beers I have. But we'll do. You know, we can do something like that. Anyways. Um, I highly suggest Lucky Bags. We're in the reserve system, and we roll all of them when all have been reserved. Let's see. Uh, first time here. Also, welcome, man. It's a good, it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be. Um, Edwin, I ask all the time. Lies, Felix. Damn, Poke, you know you don't have to, right? <laughs> my Fonz, welcome to the community. Uh, Felix is my favorite. Always does ask. My, don't I ask you all the time. Real Edwin, thank you. Yeah, Edwin's, a, Edwin's only. Oh, Edwin said earlier. What did Edwin say? Um, Edwin said, I missed what Edwin said. Hey, Dama, thanks for the kind words on Discord the other day. Anytime, man. Edwin, if you're ever going through it or life's hitting you like a fucking brick house, you always have the community, man. We're, we're here to help. We're here to help in any way we can. Clearly, we can't do it in every way, but, you know, we're always here. We're always here. You know, if you're, if you're really lucky, Edwin, maybe somebody will offer you a free Latias Gold Star. Maybe. That's how good our community is. Mac, did you ever get that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> My with the hot hands. How much do you charge to rip for us? How much is my charge to, to rip for you guys? That's up to her. That's her fee. How much do you want to charge to rip for people? One dollar per pack. What about PayPal fee on that? That, that becomes like 93 cents. Wait, no, it's 3%. It becomes not... You lose three cents. All right. My charge is a dollar per pack. <laughs> that she's she nothing if you want to, my to open your pack i'm sure she would be delighted to do so right honey for free exactly she just said yes anyways she said yes my has to type fast right through i charge one dollar welcome fun how do i enter the giveaway uh to get in the giveaway just make an order tonight and every ten dollars you spend is one entry towards the nightly there will be more stuff added to the nightly though we'll probably add more slabs in there uh, how did the giveaways work? Also, last time I was, I was here, the Lucky Bags had some heat. What's up, Sunbro Joe? So the Lucky, ba or the lucky Bags, like I said, 100 bucks, And um, the free nightly giveaway, or all the free nightly giveaways we're going to do tonight, because it's uh, the birthday stream, we're probably going to add more into it as the night goes on. Um, I'm assuming the nightly giveaway contents are probably going to be around, like, we're probably going to give away, like, half, half, a, half a band tonight in slabs. Maybe more. We'll see. Um, but, yeah. 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 Uh, just like make an order. Every $10 you spend is one entry. Very simple. Uh, she's selling her powers off short. I Yeah, she knows that. But she's, she's, she better fucking, she better fucking, you know. You better keep pulling me Moonbryons. We're going to have a problem. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Incoming order. Hey, let's go. Keep the bags for yourself, Boogie. It's all good. I'm keeping my entries as well, Dom. All right. Sounds good, brother. Sounds good. Let me go to Q and let's see what's going on here. So we have, we have, let's take a look. Uh, Pokemon sent through $200. Let's take a look here. Pokemon, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. Let's down the, like I said, every lucky bag order. Down in a drink, baby. That was god awful. 
Good enough. All right. One for Chopper. Or Choppa. Chopper. One for Chopper. And one for Claudio. What's good, Claudio? Fucking I love Claudio. Claudio's awesome. I keep the highest value card or slap. Sounds good. Chai, remember me when I lost 10 bags in a row? <laughs> All right, so we're going to get one bag for Choppa, one bag for Claudio, whatever the highest value thing out of it, Pokemon's going to keep. But hey, everything else you guys get for free, and that's pretty fucking cool. Imagine you get the high tier, and like he takes, you know, a crazy slab, but then there's like $200, $300 of value on top of that. You get all that for free. That's awesome. Pokemon, thank you very much. That was fucking awesome. All right, Choppa. You have some options, man. Choppa and Claudio, choose your bags. Dugong, Ninetales, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Eggs, Dragonite, and Oddish. Choose which bags you would both like. <laughs> oh, that beard's good, brother. Uh, already paid. Claudio gets it from each Is it Macus? Dama donated one dollar. <coughs> hey gamers, this is Dama. If you tip sixty nine dollars, I will let my fart on my face. Yo, deal! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! I'm down. I'm fucking down. If someone tips sixty nine bucks, you get a fart on my face. She does it for free anyway, so. <laughs> anyway. New beer for me? Hell yeah, Tyson. Dude, that's the, one of the best feeling in the world. You know, one of the funny... Uh, when I was when I was a borderline alcoholic, one of the most fun things in the world was getting way too drunk, being hungover, fighting it the entire day, and being like, I'm never drinking again. And then the night comes around, and you're like, fighting the urge to become an alcoholic again. And then you do it, and you're like, damn, that beer was good. Let me have another. <laughs> it's it's terrible, but it's it's fun. When you're, when you're in the shit, you're in the shit, and it's fun. I'm still waiting on freaking Dark Echo to my damn Korean. <laughs> uh, Claudio said eggs. Choppa said nine tails. All right, let's do it. Claudio said eggs. Choppa said nine tails. So we're going to do Choppa, Claudio, and who did what? Uh, Claudio eggs. What, babe? Uh, uh, eggs. Reserve. <laughs> Reserved eggs. And then Choppa wants nine tails. Uh, nine tails reserve. All right, Claudio and Choppa, let's get it going, baby. Ooh, ooh, babe, should we give away a um? Do you think if we hit when we hit one point or one k in sales tonight, we should add a a raw Charizard SIR to the nightly and offer free grading? No. No. Is that what you think? Okay. <laughs> what do you really think? What about a Blast Toys SIR? No. No. I'm just <laughs> She's kidding. We can add a. You want You want, You think a Charizard would be good? Everybody likes Charizard. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about a Blast Toys? <laughs> eggs, eggs. What do you guys think? Blast Toys, Zapdos, Charizard. What do you think? I can either give it to you on a nine or give it to you raw. What do you want? <laughs> My wants it wrong. <laughs> Alright, the, the bags we have left are Dugong, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Dragonite, Oddish. Six bags left until we roll reserves. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. Pokemon, that's fucking awesome of you. Thank you very much, man. Let's take a look at Q. Alright, Kazantha sent through 10 schmackaroos. Thank you very much, Kazantha. Let's take a look here. Kazantha said, and I quote, uh, let's put 10 on the Mew slab break. Let's do it, Kazantha. Let's put 10 on the Mew. 10 on the Mew! Alrighty, here we go. 10 on the Mew. That's going to get you spot 17. I hear the baby. Alright, hell yeah. Kazantha, spot 17 on the Mew break. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Also, I'm sending these bitches off to Beckett. I gotta send these ones all off to Beckett. Does this one even look as good as the other ones I have now? Is it one white dot top left? That'll fuck it. That's not getting a black label. No shot. No shot. This will go to PSA. Why is this in the Beckett pile? I don't know. I don't know. Beckett pile up here. This guy's not a fucking... This guy's a PSA. He's a fraud. This guy's a PSA boy. 
100%. He's not a Beckett. Was I coping? I was coping because we didn't have any of the good copies in yet. Oh, PSA. All right. <laughs> All right. Put him in the back, though. He can creep right here. We like that. All righty. Cool. Six bags left on reserve. Best of luck. All righty. Let's take a look at Q, everybody. What are you guys thinking? Uh, Chopper said, nah, nine tails. Uh, add some homemade muck. Yo, I got you. It's something, got a Pokemon, your boss. Chopper, you never learn, but it's going to be the plant. I'm feeling it. The itch is there. It's going to be the plant. Which one? Which plant is there? The Oddish? Is Oddish the, the plant that's currently there? I like Oddish. Shout out Calzone. I picked Jolteon because I never picked it. Figured, why not go electric? True. $100 and I'll show myself with Michelle Obama. It's true. She has a picture. She also has a um, Latias Gold Star. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> nah, no shade, no shade. All fun and games. All fun and games. All fun and games. Q's open. Uh, six more lucky bags left in this reserve, and they will get rolling. Everybody, six more. The remaining bags are Dugong, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Dragonite, and Oddish. Remaining bags. Um, to make this more interesting, here's what I'm going to do for you all. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to very quickly uh, retrieve an extra thing to put in the nightly giveaway. You ready? I'm going to do it. I'm going right now. I'm going to very quickly retrieve something to put in the nightly giveaway uh, to incentivize the last six bags getting rolled. Okay? Give me one sec. I'm going to go grab it. Like a college girl on tipsy off two beers. Sweetheart, wait, I gotta kiss baby. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, sweetheart. All right, I have free fucking card. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna let ch I'm gonna let chat decide. I'm gonna let you guys decide right now. All right, so here we have this. We have this bitch. We have this Charizard SIR that got a 9. I'm going to be real with you. This thing could regrade a 10. Yeah, for sure. This thing can regrade a 10. No fucking question. We literally have a... We, liver, lit, <laughs> we literally uh, have like five or six copies that look better or look worse than this that got 10. Um, here's what we can do. If you guys decide in chat, we can crack it and put it in the giveaway and regrade it for whoever wins it. Or we can send it to you in a nine if you win it. And you can do that whole process yourself. I will pay for the regrading of this, though, if you want to crack it and regrade it. Also, I kind of have an itch to crack a slab because I'm fucking psycho. And I like the crack and the break. It's fun. <laughs> so, if you guys want that, we're going to add it to the nightly. We're going to add that to the nightly as well. So, more stuff for free. Happy birthday chat if it's my birthday it's your guys birthday in like chat's birthday so you guys are gonna have fun too it's not just selfish fucking acts here that's not fair i need another beer where the fuck are they are you drinking yours how much you finish it watch this wait watch this see how fucking fit it have one Cheers, babe. All right, let's read chat. Um, he he banned fucking Thomas in chat. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Um, Dom, I sent LB. Let me take a look at news. 
A nuisance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Water sent a dollar. Let me take a look. Water, water, what'd you say? Water sent a dollar. Said, my RIP. <laughs> water, no. A nuisance. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, a nuisance sent L. Oh, nuisance right here. A nuisance. A nuisance. I missed it. Hold up. Let me look at that. A nuisance. What am I doing here? A nuisance, a nuisance, a nuisance. A nuisance said Tyson's LB reserve. A nuisance sent $100 for Tyson to reserve an LB. Tyson, this is your moment. Tyson, with all with all the questionable luck, last night you ended it on a high of winning the incentive. This is where the luck returns. This is where you easily get the high tier and everything comes back, right? This is where it happens. This is a story as old as time. Tyson, you have some options. You got Dugong, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Dragonite, and Oddish. Those are your choices. And then after Tyson, we actually have another uh, We have another reserve for Kieran. So Kieran, after Tyson, you will also have choice of Dugong, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Dragonite, or Oddish. And whichever one Tyson picks, then that one's off the table. Let's take a look. Let's read chat. Let's take a look. Uh, my Sid, you're my favorite streamer. Oh, what? To Thomas? That's fair. He's really good. And it looks better on centering than the one I expected. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you guys a fun trick about uh, 151 English and grading. It's all a fucking coin flip. Everything's a coin flip. Every single 10 I've gotten from 151, like grading them, I have regraded. She's not happy. <laughs> Baby was not happy with something. Yeah, so there's been Charizard SIRs and Blastoise SIRs, Venusaur SIRs, fucking any SIR that we've graded. There's been ones we've gotten back as eights, and I've just cracked them and sent them off again, and they came back ten. It's such a fucking coin flip. The The PSA 10 percentage for a lot of those cards is like 35-ish percent. So all you have to do is crack it like three times, hypothetically. If it's like a coin flip 9-10, it will get a 10 one of those times. And it's, wor it's worth it with the Zards because they, they have that 350 ish premium so it's worth losing 30 bucks to make sure your hundred dollar card or 150 dollar card turns into a 300 plus dollar card. you know what i mean it, it makes sense give it a do it don't be an idiot it's it's one of the best things in the market right now to to grade even to buy them outright and grade them is just it's just smart uh the alcohol is coming back let's go cheers never mind a little uh tyson said dewey we're doing dugong Gong, gong, gong. Tyson's going to do dugong. Let's get it. So, Kieran forgot which one was second to last, but that one. All right, let's do it. So, we got dugong for Tyson. Tyson. LB reserve. Tyson, you're going to get dugong. And we have second to last was Dragonite. Kieran, you're going to get Dragonite. Kieran. All right, so we got Dragonite for Kieran. Kieran, thank you very much. So we have how many left? Four? I think we have four left, right? Four LBs left, I think. How, what are, who are, who's left? Who the fuck is left? Who's left in this bitch? Thank you very much, Kieran. The last four are Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, and Oddish. These are the last four bags in reserve. If you would like to get one of the last four bags that could contain that big-ass fucking high tier, do me a favor. Get in on it right now. All right. You guys both uh, got orders in, so guess what? Like I said, every time someone reserves one. <laughs> Cheers. All right. We drank. Drink with me. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Nope. You got to do it again. My birthday, my rules. Fuck you. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. All right, let's take a look. Um, ka uh, Kaiju Cow Ryan Cow or Co Cow? No, Cow would be. I don't fucking know. What's up, homie? How you doing? I mean, if everyone would be banned, it should be maxed for assuming my nationality. If Tyson picks the damn plant, Claudio and Chopper deserve their fates. I just want to practice my Korean. Thomas, I know Korean. Um, what the fuck? Hold up. Jungkook, BTS. Jungkook got a beautiful voice, by the way. 
phenomenal artist. It's just crazy what that guy can do with his voice. That's nuts. Anyways. <laughs> uh, Oddish. Yeah, Oddish is still in there. Well, you should be banned for being German. <laughs> Read me. Forgot which one was second to last, but that one, uh, Bubble. BGS doesn't F up. Yeah, BGS is pretty... They're pretty solid. Uh, they do they, they do have a quota to meet, and I feel like if you know somebody at BGS, you have better odds of a black label. But... Uh, yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty good. BGS is pretty solid. They're pretty solid. They 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 have the least controversy of the big three. They they solve their controversy. They all do, but they're not as bad as like PSA is. I, we straight up fucking damn. I literally put a fucking screwdriver to the back of a card on accident when cracking it. The only card I've ever damaged when cracking slabs out of like it's got to be like two to three hundred cards now, and uh, it was like an I think it was an it was a nine when I graded it. Or it was a nine when we cracked it because we were trying to. I bought the nine to regrade ten, and I damaged it. We sent it back in. It came back a fucking nine. Thing is, I, if I if I had the slab on me, it's it's literally upstairs in a pile. It's like the Psycho Drive Kyogre. Uh, it's like a uh, what's it called an X and Y or a full art Kyogre, dude. It's fuck. It's it's so fucked on the back left, but it got a nine. <laughs> Funny as fuck. Um, and there's ones that look worse on the market that are tens. It's it's nuts. Uh, let's see. I had some that are mint, but wanted to keep my sequential, and they got nines, so I sent them for overpriced regrade style option, and they all came back nines. Or put back. In. Yeah, you have to crack. You cannot, with any regrading, do not fucking send it back in the slab. The second you do that, you're you're already at a disadvantage because they they have a preconceived idea of what the card already got. You have to crack the slab. If you've never cracked a slab before, if you've never fuck it, hold up. I'm I'm the streamer. I make the decision. Okay, I'm the streamer. I make the decisions. All right, so we're giving this away tonight in a nine, right? Uh, wrong. Let me show you what we're gonna do with it. If you if you're f worried about cracking a slab, fucking don't be. Grab pliers in your garage, preferably rusty rusty ones. They give they give you more of a uh, you know they feel good. Anyways, uh, don't be a bitch. First thing about cracking a slab, don't be a bitch. Okay, you just have to. There you go. One. Next, take the other corner, and you fucking. Same thing. Pull off the side like a fucking caveman. Fix your fix your camera, because you don't want that shit being weird. <laughs> All right. And you take your, your screwdriver, and you pry open the one side like a fucking maniac. Like this. You go to the other side. Like this. Crack it up. And then you take your fucking card. Pry. Watch this. You ready? I'm going to do it very... Look, I'm going to show you. Check this out. Here we go. This is the, the big shebang. You can't be a pussy either. If you do it slow, you'll damage your card. You have to, like, just, like, pretend it's a scab, right? Just do this. There you go. You take your card out. There you go. That's it. Isn't there no damage to it? Look. It's not fucked up. It's fine. It's good. It's solid. And then you just regrade it. <laughs> We're running out of electricity now? Great. Are we allowed? <laughs> Can I write that off with the IRS next year? Power sh power outages cost me income. Can I do that? So this guy's going to be in the free nightly. And we'll regrade it for you. What? Oh. So we're going to regrade this for whoever fucking wins it. Okay? That's how you crack a slab. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a pussy. I was for way too long, and I learned the hard way that if you do that, you can damage your card a lot more easily. If you're just not a bitch about it, you'll be fine. That's how you, that's how you do it. Coming from a fucking idiot. Anyways, let's check Q. <laughs> let's take a look at the Q. Uh, it's Otis. I'm about to buy the damn thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do, do the Otis. Do the Otis. Do I still have to translate Korean cards? Yes, you do, Thomas. That'll be for me till next uh, time. Love you. I love you, sweetheart. Goodbye, Are you going up with her? Okay. Goodbye, Bye, sweetheart. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, baby. Ah, she put her arms up. I gotta hug her. Come here. Oh. Come here. Big hug. Mm. Love you. Come here, baby. You say hi. Say hello to everyone. 
Say hello. Show them what you do with your hand. <laughs> there you go. All right. Bye, come on. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love you, Zarep. All right, let's read chat. I missed a good amount of it. Give me your address and fight me like a real man. <laughs> Everyone on Reddit be like, uh, I said, good, hell yeah. Somebody just spamming, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what, are they, what are they, a fucking Minecraft villager? <laughs> oh. Uh, someone muted, truly in Germany. Uh, how dare you, Miss Crack? Crack, <laughs> just Crack, madman. You gotta do what you gotta do. LeBron James. <laughs> uh, dude, we have 70 miles per hour wins for your night. It's, it's fucked. Crack. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Craig is the highlight so far. I, I like you, Craig. I like you. All right, queue's open if you want to get the last four LBs. You know what to do. <laughs> what the fuck that shit is? All right. Take a look here. <laughs> I don't want to fucking open that. <laughs> I don't know what the shit. That's fucking malware. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's read chat. Instantly buys Oddich. I am sinless. So cute. Very cute, baby. Thank you very much. So adorable. Tika Zoder. But with this sin of being German water. I'll trade eggs for plant. Uh, hi. What's up, JD? Because we Germans are sinless. We uh, repented for World War II. <laughs> exactly. If you just apologize for fucking destroying an entire fucking race of people, it's cool, man. It's chill. It's chill. It's all right. You know, we didn't do it. I mean, you guys did it. You didn't do it. Somebody else did it. Not your fault. Like three generations ago, Germans? Naughty, naughty. This generation? You guys are chill. You didn't do it. Not, you, not your fault. All right, let's take a look. Uh, what do we have? Let me take a Oh, wait. Did Kieran also send for a shipping? Let me take a look, Kieran. I might have missed you with the shipping. I know I got you for the LB. I don't know if I got you for the shipping. Uh, and a spot on you. Kieran, I missed your spot on Mew, bro. I'm a piece of shit. Hold up. Kieran, let me get you. Kieran, Kieran, Kieran. I got to get you on a spot on the Mew. Ooh. Kieran, you're going to get spot 18, brother. Kieran, spot number 18 on the Mew. Very nice. Very pretty. Very good card. Very good card. Very nice. All right. Sweet. So we have left for the LBs until we roll them all. We have the Aerodactyl, the Ammonite, the Porygon, and the Oddish. Pokemon believes the Oddish is the high tier. Ammonite has been the high tier before. Porygon and Aerodactyl have never been the high tiers before. So we have some options here. I'm saying that because I want to fuck with you all and get in your head. You're going to overthink or you're not going to think enough. And that's the best part. Whether you get the high tier or not is not up to me. It's up to you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care if you fucking pick Aerodactyl because he's got a cool tail or you pick Porygon because he caused seizures to many Japanese children. I don't care why you do what you do, but pick because, you know, you want to, not because someone tells you to. Anyways, let's keep drinking. Uh, can you send my tracking number when you have time? 100%, brother. Water wants a redo to be successful. <laughs> then tell me what you were thinking of. Magus, no, I don't teach. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So what else were we doing? Uh, we crack, well, we crack a fucking, crack the slab for nightly giveaway. Um, any updates on our PSA sub? I haven't checked that today. Any updates on the PSA stuff? So, did you guys see today? Uh, Pokey Rev acknowledged his participation. <laughs> he acknowledged his participation in the pump of cards. Did you guys see that? You guys fucking see that? <laughs> so yeah, basically what happened today in Pokey Rev's video, he acknowledged how him mentioning a card might have been a reason for individuals to pump or buy it out, causing the card to go up crazy in value, which it's already pretty much fucking corrected at. It's still it's still up a little bit. It's the Umbreon V Altar. It was at really like a hundred bucks, low sales of eighty. And now it's like hundred thirty minimum. So it's up like thirty bucks, which is like a lot, you know, I guess. But like the reality is a lot of people are like, oh, the guy with the 2.5 million following 
just now realized him saying something affects the market. And then there's other people that are like, you didn't, it wasn't you, man. It wasn't you. Here's, here's, here's the situation revs in. And this is, this is from a guy who has spoken. Maybe I've spoken to rev a handful of times and not, not long, like very quick. Um, but I do, I I do speak to Ryan and Ryan, you know, Ryan's best friends with Reb and Ryan is fucking one of the most trustworthy people I know. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Rev was probably more than likely in a lose-lose situation. If he doesn't address it when people assume he's the reason, it's a loss. If he addresses it, even if he has no fucking involvement, it's it's a loss. Because then people will be like, see, we, you know what you did. Or people will be like, he's not acknowledging what he did. It's a fucking loss-loss. But regardless, if he acknowledges it, that even if he had direct impact or not, which he, he fucking, maybe fucking, here's what I think happened. He mentions it, then some fuck some fuckers go and they're like, "Oh, he mentioned it. That's an easy that's an easy scapegoat. That's an easy cop out. We can blame Rev for why it went up and not us buying out the card." That's probably what happened. Uh But he didn't fucking do anything, dude. He didn't fucking do anything. Trust me, I would know. I buy out cards all the time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't don't let fucking other Nick Opossum let you think otherwise. He Nick called me Pump Man today. I'm kidding. Nick didn't do that. I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start fake drama with applause because I fucking love Nick. I'm gonna be like, uh, here, here, you guys ready? Nick is the reason the Gasly went up to such highs. He's the reason. His April Fools' video was actually him admitting to it. It was never an April Fools' video. It was just ironically on April first. It just. Is it, you, you ready? That's now you know. If he if he asks why you guys are are gonna talk to him about it, tell him tell him I sent you. <laughs> Uh, what do we got? Um, 11 may be a hard reserve. You should add a second high mid-tier. Double the odds-ish like Oddish. <laughs> like Oddish? Really said, here we go. Uh, the Umbreon, like 200? No? Uh, which one? Poke Rev is good, but I can watch the giant poke the Pokemon shit. Literally in two hours for Dark Head to open a damn Korean box. Pokemon's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Sup, broski? What's good? Smoking 200 grams? How you doing, brother? Can anyone get what I said? Radiant Moon. I'm going to be honest with you, Thomas. I'm going to be real honest with you. I can't fucking read Korean. I can't speak Korean, but but Koreans make some damn good Netflix shows. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. And the food, man, solid, fucking good. K B B Q, woo, shit's delicious. Fucking great, man. I can't understand the language. I can't speak it, but damn, I can appreciate the culture. That shit's fire. Anyway, we got a ten dollar order from my man Ryan. What's good, Ryan? How you been, Ryan? I haven't seen you in a minute, dude. I thought you left me forever. Ryan said two to the O G. Let's do it, Ryan. So, Ryan, I don't know what happened last time in the OG. Something tells me it was pumping. Ryan, you might have bought into a pump, which is going to be hilarious <laughs> if that happened. Uh, but you will get free ones, Ryan, if that's the case. One and two. Ryan, is it a pump? I think it is, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a pump, Ryan. So, Ryan, you just pumped up the OG even more, but you will, you will get five freebies from it, and your freebies are going to be... Ooh, Blaine's Vulpix. Ooh. You're also going to get uh, Fossil Golduck, Rocket's Meowth. Well, not Rocket's Meowth, but Meowth. No, normal Meowth from Rocket. Sandslash from Fossil and Jungle Venonat. You're going to get all those as some freebies. Ryan. Ryan, you pumped up the OG. Oops. Oopsies. Ryan, you pumped up the OG. Not the best, but hey. You know what I'm saying? The, the OG is something of, a, of an anomaly. You have to know what's going on with it to really... Take advantage of it. But if you don't know what's going on with it, that can happen. Ryan. Get you some freebies, though, man. All righty, all righty. How many more do we have left in the, the LBs? Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Oddish. If you would like to buy a second bag in the Lucky Bags, you can, by the way. So if you've already bought one bag, you can buy another. Uh, that's allowed right now. So four bags left. Let's get them filled out. If we do, we will roll the Gardevoir. We're going to give all that away. And we'll have another round ready. Rough again. Ryan's just got the shittiest luck in the world. <laughs> Poor Ryan, man. Poor fucking Ryan, dude. All right, let's take a look here. Um, all right, let's switch cams. Sweet. Now OG is pumped. Yeah, OG is pumped. Oh, OG is pumping. It, it it might it's it's pumping, which means it can hit next round, but it also could just pump next round. All righty. Let's read chat. Let's take a look at the old chat. Um, bon, <laughs> bon I was thinking of Warner Arizona. I don't know what the fuck. Dude didn't open my one five one. Waited for me and hasn't opened yet. Dude, fuck that. 
How many orders does he have to go through? How hard is it to is it is it difficult to open? I've never heard of this individual in my life, Pokemon, but is it hard? Is he, does he talk a lot in stream and just kind of like neglect orders? Uh, why I refuse to do lucky bags or a mystery pack in general? I'm on my ass would be bleeding. I'm going to be honest with you, Ryan. Your ass is going to be bleeding trying to do OG snipes more than it would ever from a lucky bag. The lucky bags, if you're very fucking unlucky, you'll get a bad one. But typically, you're going to get your value back or make money. So, like, lucky bags are good. They're very good. If you go back to the last two days of stream, people have gotten the high tier uh, multiple times in the same 30 round. So, like, put it this way. The other night, we got three very high tier bags in one single round. So it was like a $700 bag, a $700 bag, and like a $500 bag. There was $1,900 worth of cards that were picked up outside of the other 29 bags worth of value in the same 30 bag round. We had to replace the high tier three different times in the first round. Then yesterday, we had to replace it twice. So as long as you just fucking full send and get... Just pick the right Pokemon, it can be good for you. Right? In the case we get to reserves like this, we either get to reserves because we never hit it, or we get to reserves because we hit it two, one or two times and we get to reserve a little early. Uh, what's all in the lucky bags? Just wondering. So the lucky bags are an accumulation of shit. Raw cards, graded cards, uh, niche stuff, modern stuff. Uh, you can get like slab break entries that we have here. You can get box base entries. Like we've had people who have like had a terrible lucky bag and then they get like 10 slab hot box spots and then they snipe like 150, 200, 300 dollars slab from the slab hot box. And then they're like, oh shit, that wasn't too bad. Um, on your lucky bags, the, the big one that everybody's going after right now with these final four. Uh, and why everybody has like reserved ones right now is because there is a pushing five to six hundred dollar bag in the midst of the last ones. And uh, when we hit reserves, everybody gets a fair chance at getting that, you know, an opportunity at that bag. Anyways, or a giant fuck you card. Yeah, that there's usually one out of 30. That is a big fuck you. I don't think I put one in this round, though. I think I missed it unless we already hit it. We might have. We might have hit it. No, we definitely we either hit it already or there isn't one. I remember Diglett was the last fuck you bag. And uh, I think we got that early in this round. But I don't think... I, either it was early this round or early last round. But if if, we, if it was last round, then we don't have one in this bag. I didn't put one in. Uh, America's also hell. Why are you... Uh, so I can't change the Oddish? You want to change to the Oddish? If you want to change the Oddish, you can. I don't care. Uh, cards or slabs. Cards, slabs... Uh, usually, like, we'll add in niche stuff, like uh, very gradable fucking vintage-ass stickers, but we usually don't count it towards value. We usually just add it in there for, f like, free, but then a lot of the times you can grade that shit, and it's very expensive. JW means just wondering. A hunk of stone with text engraved into it. Magus, you are frustrating. He's like, I saw that. Thanks. Hell yeah, change that thing. Fum duck. <laughs> Schroeder's F, you won't know. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. What the fuck? Let's take a look here at Q, see what's happening. I sub. Thank you very much. Nothing but peace. I, I appreciate that, man. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way, our nightly right now. So, like, what we have, we're giving this away no matter what tonight. We're going to be giving away uh, Charizard EX SIR. And a Umbreon Hollow Nearman 8 tonight, no matter what. So there is no, like, amount of money we have to get in sales type shit. It's just no matter what, we're giving this away. So you could spend $100 on a lucky bag, get a great bag, and then also get a free Charizard EXSI or Umbreon Hollow Nearman 8. I just crack it and regrade, to be honest. You'd probably get a 9 or 10. It's so fucking coin flip. Um, grade this, it'll probably get a 10. We just cracked it in a 9, but I'm going to be honest. This thing is a 9 or a 10, depending on the grader. And it's just a fucking coin. Th these are these two are coin flips. I'm gonna be honest. This thing getting an eight's very subjective. There's no print lines on it. Um, centering left to right's fine. It has the same fucking edge shit that many tens I've graded have. Left to right, tiny bit left, right? Actually, nah, it's fine. Left top to bottom is fine. I don't know. It's got an eight. I'm gonna assume it's just a a grader. Saw this right here. 
little edge thing going on here, but I've graded lots of cards with that edge thing that I've gotten 10 from uh, Neo Discovery Vintage, so I'm not too worried about it. I just regrade both. This I'd regrade. This I'd crack and regrade if I were doing it, but that it's up to you. If you win it, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Your card at that point, right? I'm about to buy the Oddish. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, oh, keep my eggs then. Uh, what two-year-old short bus kid wrote the message on the Umbreon? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically enough, I can joke about that, bro. I rode the short bus. Not because, like... Not because, like, you know, I needed help getting home. It was because I had a, I have a blood disorder, uh, hemophilia. And with that blood disorder, back when I was in school, nobody knew what the fuck it was, nor what it does. And the, you know, ex they don't, they don't know much about it. So they were just like, oh, we need to put him on the fucking short bus, make sure he don't die. So they did that for like a, a half a year when I was like 14. That was an interesting time. <laughs> I got so much shit from that from my friends. I couldn't talk shit for like half a year. I couldn't say shit. <laughs> I couldn't say shit, dude. Uh, we'd be like roasting the shit out of each other. And I'd be like, oh yeah, but you got them fucking broke ass shoes, bitch. And then they'd be like, don't you ride the short bus? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck man, that's a lot. That hurt. And then we'd go and play Call of Duty Zombies and it was chill. You know what I mean? It was a good time. It was a good time. I have nothing but respect for the people on the short bus. They're good people. They're good people. They're damn good people. Except the one smelt like fucking shit. Uh, his name was um, the fuck was his name? I'm gonna I'm gonna remember his name. I'm not gonna expose his last name. I, you know I'm I'm not gonna expose his first name. I don't know what the fuck his first name was, but I know his last name was Cornwall. He smelt like fucking shit. He smelt like ass. And he kept bothering me about games on my phone. But he was a nice kid. He 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 meant well. Smell like shit, but he meant well. He meant he meant well. He meant well. So I'm not gonna judge him. He meant he meant well. He he was not not any weird shit. He was just a good kid, a little too pushy. Smell like shit, but he was he he meant well. He meant well. I liked him. Uh, I wonder, Edwin, what did I would say. Uh, you rode that short bus. I f hell yeah, I did. You're such a W W content. Keep it up. Thank you very much. I was attracted to blood. If Maya is bleeding, hell yeah. I'll go in deep in that shit. Red wings. Dama freak. Dama shit shaming. Nah. I'll shit myself. One of the kids on the short bus my school bit and choked out a female teacher. Let's go. One for the boys. I know Cornwall. JK, JK, I don't. I gave up. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Pokemon, just easily. E it's easy. Just get the Oddish bag and you easy free, free low. My man, Billy sent through $20. Let's go, Billy. How you doing, brother? Billy sent through $20, said Hotbox Hits. Let's do it, Billy. Billy, if you get a pump here, I'd just go in again. But if you don't pump, you know what I mean? Then we're rocking. Billy, you're going to see my hand go up in here. It's all the way back here, but let's we'll take out the stack. One, two, three, four. Four to the OG. <laughs> That's a great art. Is that Comey art? Of course it is. It's a great Crocknell art. Anyway, Gramble. Yeah, it's a pump. It's a pump, baby. Billy, no matter what, you're going to get your freebies here, and you're also going to get... Oh, you're going to get those ones, and then you're going to get your freebies. So let's show you your freebies. Uh, you're going to get a jung Japanese Jungle Rapidash. You're going to get the Misty's Star... You? Or Star Me. Uh, Apom from Neo Rev. Caterpie from Japanese Base. And Bellsprout Tower! I love that card. All right. Those are your freebies. Uh, that was a pump, a pump round, brother. That was a pump round. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do extra freebies, extra freebies for the rest of the night, just because I think that would be funny. We're gonna do extra freebies. We're gonna give you some more. We're gonna give you a star. You. Oh, Pikachu and Crocnall. Yo, Jungle Pikachu. Nice, baby. We give that to my man Billy. Billy. This thing is a little. It's you know what I'm saying it's a little LP, right? But it's still cool. It's still nice. A little little binder card there, right? We'll sleeve it up for you if you want to throw it in the old binder. Billy, let me get you a bag. Uh, what bags are left? Aerodactyl, Oddish, Ammonite, and Porygon. So extra freebies from here on out as well. Oh, man, Billy. I appreciate it, Billy. Thank you very much. Shame it wasn't a hit round for you, but hey. You know what I mean? Hopefully those freebies make a little bit up for it. My Billy said, thanks. Anytime. No, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You made an order. I, I appreciate that a lot a lot more, man. I appreciate it. Who got the high tier? Nobody's gotten the high tier yet. High tier high, high tier could still be, it could still be like 
The thing is, until we res- until we roll the reserves, we don't know who has the high tier. So nobody has gotten it yet. Hy- hypothetically, nobody's gotten it yet. Uh, somebody could have reserved it already, but we won't know until we re- until we roll it. There are four left though. It's probably fine, but that shit is nuts. Can watch two hours for open a box. Maybe somebody just open it. I'll find it tomorrow on my dim. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like there there are some streams. Ah, fuck, I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm going to eat some peaches. There are some very good streamers for breaking packs that are very quick, very efficient, and they're good at what they do. Now, we do a different thing here, so I don't feel challenged like, you know, rivaling business. If you guys like paying here, you're going to like paying here and coming here for business. Um, So I don't feel challenged by these people. Plus, they already have their own thing, right? But I will say there are some very good people out there who are very quick with breaking packs down. All right? There are some very good people. We're very good at doing it. Um, I have my preference if I ever fuck around for a night, like once a year on a break stream. Um, but I'm going to let you find them. I'm going to let you find them. Billy Bob, reveal your YouTube username to get to get your entries. I left for a bit. The LB round hasn't edited. No, it's still good, Mal. If you want to get in, you're, you're free to get in. I've never seen Porygon hit, so there's three left. I know what you're trying, to, trying not to say. Porygon is going to hit. Smoking 200 grams, he's saying Porygon is going to hit. Who's gonna Who's gonna trust my man smoking two hundred grams? If he's right, you owe him like a big hit out of the bag. If he's right, where's Franco? His poor god. Where is he? Claudio sent through ten dollars. Let me take a look for you, Claudio. All right, just buy me a poor god. I'm broke. Uh, Claudio said, "OG, oh, let's get it going." Claudio, are you gonna hit on the OG? Are you Are you hitting? <laughs> are you going hit? <laughs> Claudio, that's a double pump. But Claudio will get you some freebies. Claudio. What, so what we give seven freebies? Uh, Crocodile, Mankey, Coughing, Zubat, Totodile, Centrit, and no, you got two coughing. We'll give it to Quilava. That's fair. Quilava, hey, freebies for my man Claudio. Nice, Claudio. Claudio, you have a bag here. I know you do. But Claudio, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little lazy. I'm just going to get you another. <laughs> Uh, fast pace is better in my opinion. Yeah, I know if you're the, the key here's okay again I shouldn't fucking tell you this because I, I understand business is business and I, I want to keep you guys here all the fucking time, right? However, there are some very good people that are very good with packs if packs are your cup of tea and what I do here is not I would recommend like Royalty gaming. He is great. I fucking love Sagger. He's a great guy. I would recommend him That's it <laughs> If you want, like, IRL, fast pace, you don't have to wait too long for your shit. He's really good. He's really fast. He's a good guy. I like him. Um, besides that, a lot of the other people, they're going to pre-break your shit, which means you're going to pay for it beforehand, and they'll, they'll do a live stream dedicated around the box or the content or whatever. That can take a while. That can be annoying. You have to plan your fucking schedule around that. If you want anybody else who's, like, live and good at what they do, I'd also say, regardless of all the controversy around the individual, uh, TCC, the card economist, he's very good at what he does. Again, controversy or not, the guy is good at what he does. He can get your shit done, and he can do it quick. Um, other people that I can think of, there's probably some people on whatnot that are good at it. It just depends if you like whatnot or not, right? I'm not a big advocate or fan of whatnot, but there's probably people that do it well on there. Other people I can think of that are real good at doing cards very quickly, I don't know, man. You got to find them. You got to find them. Anyways. Uh, cheers, Dama. Hey, cheers, Tyson. Let's have a fucking drink, babe. It's cheating, Max. <laughs> Let's take a look. My man Claudio sent another 10. Claudio wants that snipe, bro. Claudio wants that snipe. Claudio sees the OG pumping. He wants that snipe. Claudio, let's make it happen, bro. Let's make it fucking happen. Claudio, one. Two. Claudio, it's a pump. No, Claudio. <laughs> Claudio, it's a pump. Claudio, let's get you some freebies, though. Like I said, freebies every order. You're going to get a Gleam Meow, Eevee Neo Discovery, Hound Hour DP3, Charmeleon Base. That's actually not terrible condition. Uh, Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Claudio, you're going to get all these as freebies. A little freebies. They are, you know what I mean? Are they worth it? You can decide that. But hey, it was a pump round, but you're still going to get some cool stuff from it, Claudio. And that's what matters. We're still pumping up the OG. By the way, we have the slab hot box as well. I believe we were pumping a slab in the slab hot box last time too. I don't like royalty. I I, I like Pokey Fun Boys. Wayne is good shit. 
Um, why don't you like royalty? He's a good guy. I like I like Sager. Is it because it takes it does it may take a while now. He's had a big influx uh, since the last time I was there, so it, it's been a while. He's a good he's a good guy, uh, but he may have had a big influx of viewers, so it might take a long time. Now, <laughs> Water, what do you have against Mexicans? <laughs> Got him. I wish I could get in, but no money, me no lucky bag. I feel you, man. I feel you. I'm feeling like I got two feels Dama or PP. Oh, the rest. Oh, shit. Actually, maybe probably two. I like him. That's where I'm at. Like I said, everybody has their personal preference when it comes to a break stream or break streamers. Uh, and no answer is a wrong answer. Whatever you like is fine. And wh whatever community you like, whatever person you like is fine and okay. You know what I mean? Everybody's got their own quirk, niche, community, things that you could like about it and not like about it. I don't have an issue with anyone personally. I don't have an issue with anyone. I'm pretty fucking chill with everybody. Um... I've had questionable situations in the past. I, I had some I had some questionable thoughts about TCC in the past, the car economist. But the more I've gotten into business with individuals in in terms of chargebacks, the more I understand how he handled a situation with me. And I actually have no fucking malice for him anymore. I I, I don't. I, I kind of exactly get how he handled a situation in the past with me. Um, does that mean it was right? No, but I get it. Right. I don't know. If I ever meet the guy one day, I'm never going to have any bad blood with him. He's, he, I, I get it. I'd, I'd gladly have a beer with the guy. Um, and I gladly have a beer with anyone in the fucking card space. I don't I don't hate anybody. Except I don't like Leonhard. I don't like him. There's some other people I don't like either, but I don't have any valid reason to not like them. I just, there's something that rubs me the wrong way. Anyway. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. My man, Billy sent through 20 for the hot box. Billy, let's do it. Billy, you ready? Let's get it going. Billy! I think one, two, three, four. Billy! Billy. You ready? Here, wait, let me lower this. Billy, you ready? Are you ready? One. Wait, hold up. One. Two. Three. Billy. Billy. <laughs> Billy, nice! Billy, you're going to get a nice little slabberino there. Billy, you're going to get the Psyduck. Wait, is he? Hold up. Is he right? Yeah, he's right here. Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. Billy, you're going to get a beautiful Japanese fossil Psyduck and a nine. Nice slab, man. Good job, Billy. Small little pump on that. Value of this nine on this guy is probably pushing around like $40 for the nine. The 10 is usually around like 80 to 90 um, it's a nice 40. I think we pumped him up like 55 to 60. Did I? I pulled off the fucking sticky. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> I don't like someone. My, 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 who don't you like? Mai's least favorite streamer is Radiant Moon. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> she has beef with him. Alrighty. All right. Billy, congratulations, man. Nice slab snipe. You're also going to get some freebies with that, Billy. All right, freebies for Billy. Let's take a look. We have Brock's Vulpix, Tauros from Jungle, Neo Discovery, Pineco, uh, Jungle Cubone. Fucking always forget the name of that. And there we go. Nice. Nice Comey art on that last one. All right. Very nice. Let's get you these, Billy. Congrats, man. That was a nice, nice little snipe there. Billy. Not, not a bad one, Billy. Not a crazy big hit, but it wasn't a huge pump into it. It was pretty quick. Pretty quick pump into it. All right, let's take a look at Q, though, because we want to get these lucky bag reserves going. I don't like scream look. <laughs> Mine is very, very straightforward. I love it. Mine don't like scream looking, bitch. That's fair. That's fair. I agree. Claudio said, OG, oh, Claudio. Claudio, Claudio, you were so close yet so far. But Claudio, you're still going to do pretty decent here, it looks like. Claudio, you're going to get yourself a... Guard of War, Marumia, and a Gold Mew EX fucking steel fucking plate promo. <laughs> the gold, the metal card. Wait, why is this off to the fucking side? There we go. Oh, it's because this is not high enough. And this is off centered. And this should be right here. And there we go. And this is too far forward. And everything's dark in the back. I don't like that. All right. All right. Let's get this uh, in a card saver for you, Claudio. Because you can actually grade this Marumia gang or Guard of War. Pretty decent. Last we were checking prices, it was pretty decent. All right, 
Claudio, not bad. I have to... I'll be honest, I gotta break the seal. I gotta break the seal real quick. All righty. All right, sweet. Okay, let's check Q reminder. Four lucky bags remaining. Uh, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, and Oddish are the last lucky bags before we roll these bitches. Um, here's what I'll do. For the individuals that get the last four bags, I will throw you $20. Is the Slap Hot Box still rolling? Yeah, it all fell down. Of course it fucking did. I'm going to prove this to you. Sla I'm not going to show you the slabs. I'm going to put those right here. But here, the Slab Hot Box, check this out. It fell down. See? They're all, they all fell forward. So I'm going to just pick it up, and I'm just going to pick it up like that and put it in its place like that so it's ready to go. Cool. And it fucking fell forward again. Jesus, man. <laughs> all right. Um, here's what we'll do. I'm going to pull it up like this and put it forward. Can I get it? Sweet. They're all up. And then I'm going to put this Pikachu thing behind it so they stay upright. Thank you. I'll give whoever goes in on the last four lucky bags, I'll give you guys each 20 credit to the slab hot box. Okay. Alrighty, sweet. So I'm gonna really quickly break the seal. That means I have to piss. So give me a minute. I'm gonna pee. Last four lucky bags, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Oddish. Finish them up so we can get this round going. I'm bringing my beer with me. Beer, beer drinking and pissing. Put the rest of the beer in the fridge. I'm about to clear this shit. I need it to be cold. Ah, oh, warm. Ah, got it. Got it. Equal it out. It's way better. All right. What's well, good? <laughs> Let's see. Cool Guardi, right? It's a nice, it's a nice Maramiya Guardi. I love the Maramiyas. They're solid. Maybe she's silently lurking. Who? Pink? Pink's a guy. That's the case, then fuck you, Pink. <laughs> Dom, please, please show me the three story of the times three or th the story of Pink. Um, Mai's got you. Yeah, I got you, Mouse. <laughs> I don't remember much, but Pink. Pink is a large part of drinking beer. Yes, it is. Damn fucking right. It is. Let's normalize pissing when drinking beer. Nor let's normalize that shit. If I get shamed for pissing while taking a drink, bro, I'm gonna fucking flip. I'm gonna freak out. Tyson, yeah, I want Oddish. You take something else, battle? I want that Oddish, but I just bought three damn bags. Trying to find a reason, Tyson. <laughs> Tyson! Tyson! <laughs> I'm gonna let people know in the Discord we have three left. Oh, thank you, Ash. I appreciate that. Ash said, happy birthday. <laughs> that might, that could be in it. All right. Um, here, real quick. Let's go to stream updates. And let's say that everyone, four LBs remain, remain for the birthday stream reserve. Over, how much is this probably worth? Over $300 in free giveaways tonight for anyone who purchases. <laughs> That's solid. That's pretty decent. 
That's pretty decent. All right. <laughs> Let's refresh Q. Um, you gonna back out again? Oh, shit! <laughs> How much the cost? Uh, I peed on a girl on my 18th birthday. Didn't find out about till the next day. She thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't fucking p pissed on my yet on accident. I don't think I... I've done... <laughs> My my has some stories about you, boy. She's got some stories. I ain't perfect. I'll put it. I'll put it that way. I ain't perfect. You guys see how the uh, you guys see how the gas leak the on eBay the PSA ten price is real fucking high. Like the bids on it. New messages responding on eBay. The fuck for what? To our valued customers. I don't give a fuck. I don't feel like a valued customer. <laughs> Let's see. Ghastly illustration rare. Five days, 19 hours left. $274 in bid. And then there's one that is $305 in bid. What the fuck? That's some shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Titan said I'm down to battle. I repeat on anyway, I hope to keep it that way. My lover has stories too. No shame. <laughs> it's good, man. They they know they know you inside and out. They know your your weaknesses, your strengths. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, we are uh we're four bags off from the reserves. We got Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Porygon, Oddish. Who is going to take what? You buy an Oddish to battle me? Yes, Tyson. Let's do it. That'll leave us with two more left. Tyson said, okay, bet. <laughs> so, Tyson, the question is, do you in response pick Ammonite, one that has won before, or Porygon or Aerodactyl, two newbies who have never won or never had a big high tier? Depends. Hello. Hi. What's up, Depends? How you doing, Depends? Don't let him back out. I don't think I don't think he will. I feel like I feel like he'll, he'll be good, right? You be, be good. No, no backing out. How much is the LB? I doubt I have enough. But tell me, it's a hundred dollars per LB water. Ugh. I want to be peed on sometimes. <laughs> Keep your kinks to yourself. Kai said, happy birthday. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Kaiju Cal Ryan Cal. I have a question for you, brother. Um, Mr. Kaiju Cal Ryan Cal. My question is, is there a reason I have an email with <laughs> from you? <laughs> With an address in Taiwan? <laughs> am I if I open this, am I about to get malware? If if it's gonna happen, just let me know before I do it. Cause then I'll I'll fully accept the the repercussion. I'll fully fucking accept it too. <laughs> I like to know if the stickers which percent grade came back. Uh oh, let me look alive. Which ones were sent again? I can check, but it's easier if you let me know, bro. All right, sweet. I'm using my bag I already got. Oh, so Tyson wants to use the bag he already has, so he will be using the dugong. Gong, gong, gong. So Tyson will be battling with dugong. So we'll, we'll start it. We'll start off the uh, the round with that. Then, whenever we get to the reserves, we'll start it off with that. That's fair. All right. I just want to tell you, I come from Taiwan. Oh, okay, man. That's fair. I'm cool with that. Thank you. I'm happy to now know this info because now I know. How's Taiwan, brother? How's Taiwan? Do you enjoy Taiwan? I think I told the kid I was going to play their dad once. Can't do that. New bag only. Yep, Tyson, new bag only. Only a new bag. 
I mean, Tyson got the dugong bag for free from Anusin. So Tyson, you you got to match it. You have to match it. If you don't match it, I don't know. Or oh, so these were the can't show those. Those are the other slabs from the slab hottie. Ooh. It's got to be a new bag. <laughs> now I feel bad. I think Tyson is broke. Don't we? <laughs> what? Tyson's like, the fuck you say? <laughs> He's going to pull up. He's going to say, watch this shit. He's going to say, bam. Watch this. Bag is my dad is in prison. Good luck. <laughs> I have some more peaches. These things are good. I don't know if any of you have a um, a Sam's Club membership, but they have these peach halves in a jar. Tons of them for like nine bucks. I got like five jars of that shit today. They last like over a year too. Like if you don't open it, they're fucking good, man. They're a great alternative to sweets because they are sweet and it's like natural sugars. And, like, I'm not one to be all fucking on that shit. Like, I'm literally downing alcohol. I'm dr fucking drinking tonight. But I, I don't drink often. And I'm trying to low-key lose weight without attempting to lose weight. I'm just trying to slowly change diet. And it's working. Just by, like, drinking less soda, not drinking alcohol. Going from chocolate bullshit to fucking peaches. It's Anytime I wanted, like, a soda, I'm just drinking tea. It's working. However, I will tell you this. Those motherfuckers, they're so good. They, they're sweet. They're so damn good, dude. They're so damn good. Peaches very quickly became my favorite fruit. Apples were the go-to. The goat. But now peaches, man. Mm. Delicious. It's fucked up how good they are. Peaches, mangoes, and pears. Mangoes are good. Pears, I kind of have... I, I got some beef with pears. Anytime I've had a pear, it was like an Asian pear that was fucking... It tasted terrible. Not that Asian pears taste terrible. They're, they're, some are probably really fucking good. It's just all the ones I had were not great. So I'm a little biased. When do you try fresh peaches? I already have them. We grow fresh peaches uh, every summer. Every summer we grow uh, fresh peaches. Good as fuck. To pick off the tree and then just like let them ripen. And then you just dig into those motherfuckers. Ah, oh, so good. Fuck Tyson, I'll buy whatever damn lucky bag I want when I... <laughs> I want any bag except Oddish. <laughs> Tyson. Tyson, you're going to sit here and take that? Pokemon's in a hundo, and he wants any bag except Oddish. You know what? I remember Tyson kicking my ass. You know what? I remember Tyson kicking my ass in January. Read that shit. Tyson needs back. Or he's a wuss. What's up, everyone? What's good? What's good, Luis Rango? The only fruit I, I like to eat are limes and lemons. Those are good. The sourness. Peaches and nectarines and berries. All good. No wonder you are so sour. What'd you say about my pears? No, pears are... I'm not talking shit on pears. It's just all the pears I've had have not been great. I want to have a good pear. I do. I want to I eat a pear like one of those fucking Animal Crossing villagers. I just want to... Like, how do they do it? Like that type shit? I want that. I really do. Words are words. You don't pay my bills. <laughs> True. Magus, I agree with you. Mango's definitely good, too. Kadama, uh, I'm in Germany. My Oma's boyfriend has a cherry tree. Those cherries are so fresh and delicious. I crave them often. I Like, fresh fruit is... It's great. It's great. So what we're going to do here... Pokemon. We're going to take out the Oddish. I'm going to put them over here. And we're going to take these ones. And here's what we're going to do with them. You ready? I'm going to close my eyes. I, f I already forget the ro or the order of these, but let's just do this. All right. We're going to mix them up. And then what we're going to do is a random number generator. This is one. This is two. This is three. We're going to do a random number generator on the computer. One through three. You ready? Here, let me go to it. Random number generator on the computer. One through three. Three. We're going to do bag number three. Bag number three would be this one. It's Porygon. So, Pokemon, you're going to get Porygon. All right? If you're cool with that, let me know. If not, let me know, and we can uh, we can assign you a different one. So, everything except Oddish. Pokemon, let's do Porygon for you. All right. Pokemon. 
So that is uh, LB Reserve. Porygon. Everyone except Oddish. Porygon was the chosen one. So now we just have Ammonite, Oddish, and Aerodactyl left for the reserves. And then we'll roll tonight. Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Oddish. Alrighty. I'm messing, bro. <laughs> no, dude, I genuinely want to try a good pair. I really want one. You need an Asian pair. The green American ones suck on that. All I've had was Asian pairs, and they were, like, tough as fuck. I, maybe I ate them wrong. I probably did. 100%. You spend money on me? Oh, yeah, brother. American pairs are so weirdly sweet. It's like eating candy. I love them. Obviously. Pairs are awesome. I'm cool with it. Someone buy some damn bags. Ready to see this shit roll. So we need... um. We need what? What do we need? Wait, there's no shot. Hold up. I just fucking... There's no fucking shot, right? No, no way. No world that just happened. Oh, is on this guy? I don't know what the fuck's going on with him. I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need this anymore. It, uh, it looks really good. I bid on this. Oh, I get why I bid on it, man. I'm going to fucking... Fuck you. I'm going in. Suck these nuts. All right. Uh, Pokemon, we're broke. <laughs> a lot of people aren't. You'd be surprised. A lot of people aren't. Or they got like inheritance money where they work for it. A lot of people got money. Crazy. The amount of money in this world is ridiculous. You wouldn't you wouldn't expect it. I used to think in a very small bubble, like when I didn't make any money, I used to think everybody was like me and didn't make money. And then like you start a business and you realize how many people make money. And it's it's kind of wild. It's pretty wild. Money is a very when you view money like money, it's very like you you can't you you don't view it the way you should. Money is like a don't view it like money. View money as a means of ways to obtain something to do something with it. Like it's so it sounds very fucking what is it? In in influencer type shit, but when you view money less like money and you view it as a way to acquire time or a way to do things you want or a way to obtain things you want then it, it's it's a lot easier to make to make money or to view money is not like this crazy disgusting thing that's impossible to obtain you know what i mean when it's like when you were a kid you probably thought a hundred dollars was the world right i did i thought a hundred dollars was the craziest thing in the fucking world now as an adult i think a thousand dollars is like nothing i think ten thousand dollars is like oh, that's 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 pretty good a hundred thousand is like yeah, it's, that's a good amount of money. You know what I mean? That's a good amount of money. A million dollars is like, that's something you plan for. You know what I mean? 10 million is like, all right, give me like a 15-year plan. But like, the thing is, five years ago, I thought $100 was a lot of money. Now I think, you know, 100000 is a good amount of money. Maybe in another five years, I think a million dollars is a good amount of money. And like, uh, 50 million is some crazy fucking... Like, you don't know... The more, the more you learn, the more you get older... The more you take in, the more you have business experience and you kind of evolve in areas where you can further shit, you kind of view money differently. I'm nowhere near anyone to talk about, or I'm nowhere near somebody to talk about how you should exactly view money because I'm still learning day by day. But I will say the more I've less learned money to be this crazy unobtainable thing at some high level or like money itself is money, um, the more I've viewed it as like, I don't know, like a resource to obtain time, to obtain something I want to do. It's been a lot easier to gain it. And I don't view it as like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Money, yeah, money's a resource. That's what I'd say. That's all I'd say. It's just a resource. It's a resource to do things you want to do. That's it. Don't view money as like this crazy. Don't be a dragon and hoard money. Don't fucking do that. You can do it, whatever you want. Not your, not your financial advisor, but like... I personally would rather die today doing something I wish I had done with money than sit on a throne of cash and tell everybody how rich I am. It doesn't do anything for you, man. Even like driving some crazy expensive fucking car, it's like, you, it's like you drive that shit off the lot. It's fucking like anything that's crazy fucking expensive. You can have arguments with this. If you're crazy rich, buy whatever you want. But if you're like trying to gain wealth, and you're out there buying the stupidest fucking things, there's a great quote. It's, don't go broke trying to act rich. Don't fucking do that, man. 
You you can drive a shit fucking car when you're making millions of dollars a year, and it's gonna. What's the difference gonna be? You you get from point A to point Z a little smoother. Like, it's I don't know, man. Money's a very subjective topic. I think from somebody who does, I do I do well for myself. I think. Um, I I used to make nothing. Like five years ago, I I I would make. I paid my parents' bills and I made like a hundred, two hundred dollars to my name a, a week. On top of that. And now I do well, but that's, it's not really, it's not from this. It's more from my other ventures, but this is really fun. I can throw everything back in this and I can slowly, you know, I can make a little bit from this, but I really, everything we get here, I basically throw back into it. Like you see our weekly giveaways or our monthly giveaways or our nightly giveaways or all this. Sh I throw pretty much everything back into this, but we gain a community of following, et cetera, et cetera. But it, gain, it gains me a reputation as being like somebody you is, that's trustworthy in business. And that's that's important because if I ever wanted to actually make money from this, I have a reputable following. People will trust me. I don't want to do that yet, but maybe one day, right? Um, but the point is like you need to understand money is such an interesting topic in terms of you will change your opinion on it year by year. But when you get a job, when you get a better job, when you learn about how fucking taxes work when you learn how business works when you learn how there's so many things i don't know yet and that's going to change my perspective on it the older i get and the more experience i have and uh it's something you got to really think about you, you it's you don't stay in the mindset that money is like some unobtainable fucking thing at high levels or spending money is stupid or i will tell you spending money on dumb shit is fucking dumb no matter how much money you have but if you have crazy amounts of money, you can do whatever you want. But if you don't have that kind of money, then it is a dumb thing. Regardless, uh, but then if you can write it off as a business, then it's a whole nother topic. I don't know. There's so many topics of money. I'm going to stop it right there because I'll fucking rant forever. Anyway, let's eat peaches. They're fucking delicious. They cost me $9. I love that. Let's see. I think Tyson kind of owes me a battle. $1,000 of plane ticket to see my family. Chop, I cannot. Uh, can say it a million times, but do not buy stupid shit. Yeah, it's very dumb to buy dumb shit. Unless you can have, you can get value out of what you're buying, it's very dumb. Or if you can write off what you're buying, that, then you can work with it. No one needs to hire students anymore. Everyone needs workers, but they need full-time workers. It sucks. Uh, find find a, a hobby that you can turn into a business. Find a different trade. Just keep, keep running that shit. Lurkin Lowry doesn't trust you, Nama. I offer to do a lucky bag to try you out again. I mean, that's the thing. There's lots of people that don't trust me in what I do, and that's fine. Everybody's uh, subjective to their own opinion, and that's totally cool. And that's okay, right? You know, you, <laughs> if someone who you all you gave free stuff to does not trust what I do as a business and came here for all of fucking 20 minutes, I think if you don't trust me in that 20 minute period, that's fucking stupid. That says a lot about you as an individual. However, if you don't trust me, that again is your own subjective opinion, and I'm not going to try to change that. Regardless, though, I have three years. No, on this channel, it's probably two years now of VODs that prove we're legitimate and we don't fucking do any weird shit. So if anybody doesn't trust me, it's honestly their loss, right? It's, it's their loss at the end of the day. I have I have two years of reputation with no issue. Somebody came in here 20 minutes and doesn't like me. I'm going to take the two years of reputation all day, right? That's like the same people that comment on PokeRev's videos and are like, he's fucking working with Watsy to get new booster boxes. It's like, you realize how long this guy's been in the game, right? You realize how long he's had this shit held. It's so fucking stupid if you think you're tinfoil hat theories. It's so dumb. There, there's a big thing about the Pokemon community, and this is drunk. This is not drunk. Tipsy me talking. I'm going to say it, and I mean this, a very large majority of the Pokemon community is fucking stupid. They are very, very dumb. And I don't care if I'm a big channel or not, I will say this. A large majority is fucking dumb. They believe dumb shit, they create tinfoil theories, and they run with this shit. And not a good majority... Like openly fucking scam you day by day or try and push bullshit that's not true on you to try and push their agendas. It's very dumb. It's very dumb. Um, do business with people you trust that are reputable and that have like a track record. Be Just be smart. Just be smart in the community. Have your opinion, but also be open to things that are against your opinion as long as they provide data or as long as they provide some sort of thing that you can be like, oh, that's fair. If someone just... 
talking shit to talk shit. Just it's fucking verbal diarrhea. They obviously don't watch you. Yeah, for sure. I literally offered the dude a hundred dollar bag based on review I did on your stream. Is there a story? <laughs> Who even is lurking, Larry? I'm just here to get scammed by Dama. Yeah, exactly. Choppa, I scam him day by day, and he just accepts it. And I love that. Thank you, Choppa. I used to make 15 uh, cents per panel in proofreading English translation of models. I had to lie about my age and availability for it. I had to lie about my age on PayPal to make an income on YouTube for a long time. PayPal don't know. Lie. lie. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> and then when you make it, be reputable. Be be a good business. But when you're underage, just fake it till you make it. I'm not telling you to do that. That's hypothetical. I did it. Don't do what I do. But I'm drunk. Speak drunk. I'll forgive tomorrow. I know it is. Exactly. Lurkin Lowry said you were resealing packs. I don't even sell packs. <laughs> I don't even sell packs to reseal. I don't even fucking sell packs to reseal. We we literally that's really funny. We have a stream like two weeks ago. We were doing um we were doing Cyber Judge Wild Force boxes. And this guy comes in and he goes, he he orders some packs and he doesn't get some hits. And then he goes, he starts going off in chat and he goes. This fucking dude is resealing packs, and if he's not doing it, his service provider is doing it. And I'm like, I go through the same person that everybody else, like in this scene, goes through for pa for Japanese packs. I was like, if you, I was like, I will literally fucking open a box to myself right now to prove to you it's legitimate. And we, I opened a box that I lost money on and showed him it's all legitimate. And then he goes, all right, I'll trust you. I'll buy a box now. He buys a box and pulls an SAR, and he's like, oh. So they are legitimate. I'm like, no fucking shit, dude. Why would I reseal $40 fucking Japanese boxes? Even if it was English, like if we were selling English, why the fuck would I reseal? I gain nothing from that. Would I rather lose a reputable business that can make a fuck ton of money to then put back into the business and continue doing what I like? Or would I ruin it all by a fucking $100 Pokemon card? It just doesn't make sense. Uh, why did that Taiwan person just email you their whole address and phone number or something? He, oh, that was, uh, that was my boy. That was my boy. He said he just wanted to let us know where he lived. <laughs> Guy ended up saying sorry and that you're the man. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I don't know. It's stupid. It's, I, I understand people being cautious to streams. You should be. You should not jump into a stream thinking that everything's going to be fucking great. A lot of the times, people will scam you. However... If you are quick to immediately assume somebody's going to scam you and write them off as a scammer, that is defamation if you start fucking ranting about that and telling everybody someone's a scammer. Which is also, whether it's defamation or not, it, if it's not true and you don't have proof, that's stupid. That's you being ignorant and a, and a dumb asshole. But if somebody has scammed you, prove they scammed you to people and then people will avoid them. It's that simple. It's very, it's very simple. Transparency is the best thing in the world. Transparency is great. I love transparency. If you don't love it, then you got something to hide. Simple as that. I'm gonna get another beer. I'm, I want to. I want a beer. Woo. Ugh. Also, I re I resealed this beer. It's not beer. It's piss. <laughs> Why was the you why would you use the hand cam as well if you reseal and literally open the boxes right on the camera? Yeah, it's like it's it's dumb. <laughs> I jumped into Kadama's streams immediately trusting him. I guess I got lucky. You you got lucky. You got lucky. I could have scammed the fucking shit out of you, but I didn't. Because I don't do that. Straight from your supplier, literally right out the box they shipped it. Yeah, it's it's dumb. It's dumb. It be dumb. It be dumb. People are subject to their... People can have their own opinion. I am so okay with that. I'll never not be okay with that. But the second you spew bullshit that is unwarranted or unjustified or you have zero proof, that's when I think you're a fucking idiot. And I'll always think that. It doesn't have to be in the Pokemon community. It can be in any other fucking thing. If you're just talking shit to talk shit and there's nothing to warrant it, then you're a fucking idiot. Like, Or you know what you're doing. You're trying to cause drama. And if you do that... If it entertains you, by, by all means, go the fuck ahead. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? I, I'm all for a little spreading misinformation here and there. It's fun. There's been times I've made burner Reddit accounts and fucked with people. It's fun. You, you know how fun it is to piss people off on Reddit when you, when you literally spew false information? 
It's fun. I don't you fuck with anybody's name. Like, I don't talk shit on anybody. I'll, like, say some shit about cards, though. Because you can't... I'm not going to defame anybody. I'm not going to talk shit on people. I don't do that. But I will talk shit on cards. I'll be like, you know this card is so good. It's so great. And it should be worth so much money. And then people are like, it's so fucking shit. And I'm like, actually, do you know that... And I'll, like, spew fucking bullshit. I did this, like, last year with a, with a, a VMAX Climax card. It was so fucking funny, dude. We literally did a whole experiment on it. It was so fu it was so fucking funny. Lost connection. No! It's 2 a.m. I need to sleep developing baby brain. Good night, mind everyone else. Hey, have a good night, water. Jesus Christ. Internet went to shit and was probably interesting. It was a it was a decent rant. It was a decent rant. It was a it was a good one. It was a good one. So let me check real quick. Let's go to the old hand cam. Uh, we have Aerodactyl. Ammonite and Oddish. These are the last lucky bags of this reserve round. Oddish, Ammonite, Aerodactyl. Who is going to get the final three before we roll all of these? Who's going to do it? I'll give you. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, oh wait, Pokemon. I did say individuals who gotten on the last final four would get a uh, free four hot box slab hot box plus four. Slab. So anybody that gets Aerodactyl, Ammonite, or Oddish, you will get plus four slab hotbox rounds. So a free $20 credit, basically. Too drunk to play game. <laughs> Cheers. We're super close to rolling this, man. Very close. Very, very close. I guess the the biggest thing with with a uh, fucking with the Pokemon scene is just be transparent, man. Just be fucking transparent. The second you're not transparent with your audience, you have something to hide. And if you have something to hide, why the fuck would I want to do business with you? You know, you know what I mean. If why would I why would I ever do business with somebody that's trying to hide shit? Why would I do that? It doesn't make sense. I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? If I was doing that, why the fuck would you do business with me? If if you're like, hey, man, can I see that box you're about to open for me? And I refuse to show you. That's shady as fuck. If I show you every single angle of it, show you every little part it would be fucked with if somebody were to fuck with it, and then we open it, you do fine. There you go. You know what I mean? A lot of people think when they open boxes, just because you get a bad box means the person's scamming you. If you think that, you, I get it. I've been there. I've been new to the hobby as well. Back when I fucking got in, like, really into the TCG back in X and Y, I had, like, a bad a bad run-in with Flash Fire. I bought, like, 50 sleeved blisters, and I got, like, five hits. And I thought I was they were resealed, and I got scammed. Lo and behold, fucking years later, I learned one of the hits I got would be the chase card of the entire set. I just didn't know because I was so uninformed of the fucking hits. I was so uninformed of, like, what you were supposed to get. I didn't know so much shit. If I just kept that card, bro, it's shit. You know what I'm saying? I thought because I got, like, a few decent cards in, like, five Phantom Forces packs. I, I think I had a hit in, like, four packs. I thought that's how it was supposed to be. I didn't know it was supposed to happen. With Japanese boxes, they can be harsh sometimes, and sometimes you can get an SAR. It's just it's that's how it is, man. It's just how it is. One of the best things about getting deep into the hobby is understanding rates of, of hits. And they are very fucking random. They're very random. Just because you don't get a hit does not mean shit was resealed. Shit is resealed if you can tell it's resealed. And you will always be able to tell if you do your homework. You'll always know. Packs will be fucked with. You'll see fucking... You'll, you'll see that somebody ironed the pack because it's too easy to open. You'll be able to tell because there will be glue or some bullshit. There's so much. There's so many fucking reasons, dude. Uh, to jump to play game, I'm gonna go live and try to pull someone. Let's fucking go. With any business, transparency is important. Very true. Hey, Louise. Hey, am I? All right, I'm live. Let's see what happens. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, transparency is the biggest thing in business, man. If you're not, if you don't have that, what do you have? A, a fucking false reputation and a fake business. We had an instance, and I'll talk about it because I can talk about it now. We get an instance that occurred literally like a week and a half, two weeks ago. An individual contacted me regarding buying product. And they, they were uh, an individual who had, you know, 
they they claim they had a good amount of money to their name, so they were looking for a more expensive product. So I offered them. I said, "Hey, one of my guys has the Japanese V Max Evolution Trio, the original EVs, the Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, the v- Japanese V Max Alternative Arts, the promotional cards. He has the set sealed for like what it was was like eleven point nine k." Now it's around like 13 to 14 he wants for it. Because when he said it at 11.9, everybody wanted it. So he said, fuck it, I'm not selling it at this price. I'm going to up it. So I told the individual this, and I told them exactly what the price would be, exactly what the rundown would be, and this is what I can get it for. I gave all the transparency of what is going to be the PayPal fee, what is going to be the, the, the shipping fee, what is going to be the the fucking um, the customs fee, the duty, the you know... What is the customs fee on that? Because you pay customs tax over an X amount price. Even through Japan, you pay that shit if it's over a certain price. Under a certain price, you don't you don't experience it. But if it's over a certain price, you can experience it. And that can, I'm not going to fucking play a gamble on. I'm going to add it into the price. If I do pay it, which I usually will, then you have to pay that extra fucking whatever percentage. So if the, if the order itself is over 14K, say that customs tax is 15%. That's an extra one thousand plus some something dollars. So I added it all in. I told the person, and um, <laughs> they were cool with it. They were like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it." And I was like, "Sweet, we'll do it." I was like, "I need a down payment uh, just to be sure that you, I, I'll guarantee the box price with him or the 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 contents. I'll guarantee I have it with him. I'll pay a down payment with him." I said, "Give me one k. I'm gonna pay the difference with him, which I had to put three thousand down to get the actual to reserve the product." And if I didn't pay for the entire thing, I lose that. And me and him and me and the seller were understanding it. We were all on the same page. And then the individual flaked out on me and they said, I found it at a cheaper price. And I'm like, well, one, fucking where? Right? Where? Uh, Two, provide the proof to me. And then three, uh, you flaked out on me. So I just lost 2K out of this. And it's like, it's my fault. I should have done that. But I thought the individual was trustworthy. The individual ended up did sending the 2K difference on the loss. So I appreciate that by them. If they're watching this, you know, I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. You could have flaked and ran away forever, but you didn't. Um, but my seller, he was very keen with me. Like, nope, you f- we had a deal. And I was like, that's fine. It is what it is. But I was never provided proof of where they found this box at a, at a, at a cheaper price. And then when we started doing research in the Discord on it, where this box came at a different price, the only sites we found this box available, any Japanese site, it was the same price I was fucking offering. Except from those sites, you have to pay more because you have to pay the actual, uh, what is it called? You have to pay the customs tax on top of a, fucking words are going out of my head, the... Get it from here to here. What the fuck? I'm literally losing vocabulary the more I drink. And not a distributor, but when you go through a proxy, a proxy, the proxy fee on top of that is going to be like another fucking 10%. They would have paid like over one or two K. The example they gave me of why they could get it cheaper. They could say they could go to Japan and get it in person to get it cheaper. And I was like, no fucking shit, dude. You could pay whatever like another 3k to get to japan get the product for 3k cheaper 3k cheaper but you know how inconvenient that is and you're probably going to pay the fucking same amount after all is said and done getting to japan spending however long there and then paying the product for 3 4k cheaper you're going to end up spending the same fucking amount without the convenience of just getting it through someone so it was like, it was wild, man. It was a wild ride. I, I never ended up getting an answer or or a proof from them that they found it at a cheaper price. They said they had talked to somebody that told them it was a cheaper price. This person, I never got the name of them. The, this person, I told the individual, hey, tell them to talk to me. I would love to learn this. Person never contacted me. So it's like, transparency is the biggest thing. If people are too much of pussies to talk to you one-on-one about something, especially when it involves business... And they have no fucking clue what they're talking about or they're afraid to talk to you one-on-one when you give a rebuttal to their bullshit. It's like, it's not even worth talking to the individual because it's like, if I'm being transparent and straightforward from you for you and you can't do the same for me, why the fuck are we here, right? It's, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. 
actually, they had to send you the 2K. They had a, they did a contract with you. So they technically, and I've thought about this, Magus. They technically, verbally, they didn't do a contract. Written, they technically did a contract. But if because it's all through PayPal, it, it technically is PayPal's verdict. I could do a type of if I wanted to do a suit against it, I could have, but I wouldn't do that because like. I don't know. I'm not that guy. I, I'm not going to fucking lawsuit against somebody over 2K. Typically, I, I never would. If you try to, like, tarnish my reputation, I gladly will. But the individual wasn't doing that. So I was like, <sighs> I was like, fuck, man. It was a, it was a weird situation. The, 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 the individual handled it well. Whether we have good terms or bad terms, I don't care. They handled it fine. And um, I wish the best for them. However... Like I said, I was never provided proof of where they had this at cheaper price. The individual who told them it was cheaper, I never knew who this was. This individual never contacted me or provided proof. So it's all bullshit. To me, it's all bullshit. I've, I provided all the proof and the other party didn't. So like at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, it went down to J Love. Exactly. I knew it was fucking dude. I knew it was J Love server. The thing, the thing about J Love server, and I've said this before. I've told Rock this. I, I, I love Rock, but I don't know why he why he frequents there sometimes. And here's here's the thing. J Love server. I've I joined there once, and I like J Love. I don't have any issues with J Love personally, right? I know Ryan has his issues with J Love, and um, I've heard them, and I I have opinions on them, but I personally don't have an issue with J. I'm very indifferent. I'm indifferent. I don't have an opinion on him. I don't associate with him, so I don't know. Um, however, and keyword however, when I joined his server once over a year ago, it was a bunch of elitist fucking just like verbal diarrhea type motherfuckers that just were so fucking I know the Japanese market better than everybody. And it's like... Half of you don't even order product. Half of you just buy singles on eBay or through fucking like, have you go through a shitty proxy. It's like, what the fuck, dude? It was wild, man. And like, the thing is, I literally talked to uh, other individuals who frequently buy a bunch of very expensive Japanese products about the cost of this thing. And I was like, even if I wanted to get it at whatever the price is through a Japanese site, do you understand the fucking fees I have to pay on top of that? There's no way I obtain it for less than X price unless it comes available on some random site. And then on top of that, they're going to rack on more fees than this individual is going to get me for. So it's crazy. It's fucking crazy, man. It's wild. And when the person joined is probably a spy. Well, then they're too much of a pussy to talk to me. Like at the end of the day, like I said, half of the Pokemon community is fucking toxic. Like pussy ass bitches. If you have a problem with me, if you don't agree with me, talk to me. It's that simple. If you can't talk to me one on one, you're probably a fucking neck be neck beard fucking keyboard fucking warrior. And I don't I don't give a fuck about your opinion at that point. I really don't. I really don't. It's like, dude, all you have to do is talk to me. And if you have proof of something, show it to me. And then I'll look at it. I'll take a look at all the fees associated. I'll literally go to where I can buy the product and then I'll show the individual what the price would be. And if it is cheaper that way, then I can show them, hey, maybe that is the move. <laughs> like if you want to do it yourself, then go ahead. Don't go through me at that point. I'm not going to tell anybody to go through me so I can make some fucking cash on top. If you can get it cheaper in any degree, do it. If you want to go through me, I will charge on top, but I'm not going to fucking kill you, right? It's that simple. It's that fucking, it's literally earlier tonight. I told you guys, if I get product here for a pack or for like a box or packs or something, I will charge a premium, but I will also tell you exactly how to get those boxes I am getting for the cheapest price available. Why would I do that? If I was going to fuck over somebody else in a bigger deal, why would I do that? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense. Well, you can say to you resealed packs. Yeah, man. All the time. <laughs> All the time. The thing is, I don't even really open... I don't open packs on stream. That's the crazy part. And if I were to reseal packs, like, to reseal packs, I could tell you every way to reseal a pack and what would happen if it looked like I resealed a pack. If you reseal packs, there's a couple ways to do it. You can do it with glue. You can do it with uh, an iron. There's so many ways to do it. And why do I know this? Because I have fucking open packs that were resealed. And I had to know, how are they resealed? How would I know they're resealed? Right? 
I've opened a pack live that was resealed. Uh, a Japanese uh, first edition fossil pack. We opened up live. I knew it was resealed. Immediately knew it was resealed. Um, and I had to contact the seller and situate that. They didn't even know it was resealed. I did. It was fucking ironed because it, it opened so easily. And you could tell from the, the actual the heat. You can tell on the fucking pack. It's like it's not hard. Some guy named Roken Jima. It sounds like some weeaboo motherfucker. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> It sounds like some fucking guy. If it, if it, let's be honest, if it's J Love server, dude. I like I said, it, it, someone's Discord server does not mean the individual is like this. But my God, were those motherfuckers some of the most unbearable motherfuckers I have ever fucking so not I didn't even ever associate with them, but to ever listen to them speak in the Discord, it was like a day or two, and I was like, Jesus Christ, man, this is wild. This is wild. It's wild. He still said, oh, people got to hear the truth. Exactly. It's the truth. And if he thinks that way, that's okay. Right? At the end of the day, that's fine. If he thinks I reseal packs, that's his opinion to have, and that's cool. I don't. And I'll gladly prove it. If he ever wants to come by, I'll throw him a free pack of fucking something, and I'll prove to him it's not resealed. Now, now, now the ball is in his court. <laughs> right? Mr. Roken Jima. I, I don't fucking know who this is. It's probably, you know, you know what it probably is. I'll give I'll, I'll give you a, a synopsis of the individual who probably did this. It was probably somebody who probably stalks fucking Japanese sites for product, but they never end up buying anything huge. They probably they probably just like look at stuff. They probably just view shit. Or it's an individual who has a big collection. And they, every now and then, will buy, like, some expensive stuff. And they'll be like, oh, well, you could get this here for this price. You could get it here. <laughs> but then at the end of the day, you do, you do you understand the fucking fees you have to pay on that? I highly doubt 90% of people that are linking items over $10,000 understand the amount of fees you have to pay on that shit when you buy it international. It's so fucking ridiculous. It was a JP Makari link. Yeah, Makari Japan, dude. You're paying Makari, Makari Japan who goes through a fucking... Who, <sighs> Did they understand the proxy fee? Did they understand the fucking customs fee? Did they understand the shipping fee? Did they understand the PayPal fee? All of these things are like 3%, 10%, 10%, 5%. It comes out to like you're paying an extra 30 to 40% on the item. So if it is at 10.9K... At the end of the day, it's going to be 15 fucking plus. It's like, what are you talking about? And when I ask for proof, nobody provides proof. It's like, what the fuck, dude? If you provide me proof, then I'll like, I'll admit. I'll be like, yeah, dude, fucking don't buy from me. This is the cheapest I can get it at. If this is the cheapest I can get it at, it's the only one I've seen on market sealed in the past year, like for in the English market, not going through an international site. This is the cheapest we can, I can do. But if you can get it elsewhere, fucking do it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fucking gatekeep that shit. I saw someone left the server. It's no longer there. I can see what the name was. Hasn't been an active for over a year in the Discord. Everyone is happening. They were talking about Clayburst last time they were here. Uh, maybe he joined back, but he joined the day all the drama happened. That's true. Some people's servers aren't even run by the main person at times. They just let some people from their communities create servers for the communities. You know, dude, that's the thing. Like... I again, this is my this is my thing. I have mutuals in this community that have genuine issues with individuals in this community for their reasons. I don't know the full story behind why, like, for instance, Ryan may have an issue with J Love. I know parts of it, and I don't if it's if it's true, which Ryan has never lied to me. And everything Ryan says has come to fruition at some point. So I have no reason not to believe Ryan. I will say this. I don't have an opinion on J Love or his Discord server. I don't have an opinion. I don't have an opinion. That's that's all that's all I'm gonna say. I don't have an opinion. If his people wanna act how they act or he wants to do whatever he does, that's fine. I'm all for it, man. I'm you know, go for it. Um I just know at the end of the day, right? The individual who has never like strayed me into a weird direction or has never lied to me is is Ryan. Rot CTR has never fucking strayed me in a, in a weird direction, has never strung me on, has never lied to me. He's been straightforward with me since I've fucking spoken to him. I have no reason to not believe him whenever he tells me something. And I will always ask questions. I'm not just going to blindly follow him. I always ask him questions. And he provides proof every fucking time. 
it's kind of like it's wild. Ryan is the, I swear to God on this, out of all the motherfuckers in this hobby that lie day by day, Ryan is the most trustworthy person I have met in this community. And I will swear by that. I will fucking swear by that. He's, he, he's, is he harsh? Is he a little bit to the, to the point? Is he a little rough around the edges for most people to digest? Sure. But he's honest and honesty is my thing. I love that. Let's see. Uh, every time I come back, something new is happening. What did I miss? Just a classic. <laughs> oh yeah. They are in there. Lurkin Larry was on Broly pools earlier. I should have challenged. Sorry, man. No, Pokemon. It's not your, you're a fucking homie, dude. Pokemon. You are, you are a great example of um you are a great example of an individual who came here took a chance and you've made out from it man you literally won like 800 dollars in fucking cards the other day for free and last time we like last time we shipped to you you got all your stuff right so you're gonna get all your stuff and it's 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 legitimate right Now, just talking about business transparency and honesty and related things. Yeah, just like being honest. Just, just be honest, man. Be honest, and that's it. It's, it's that simple. And at the end of the day, be honest, be held accountable, and it, and also, if you talk shit or you are challenging somebody's perspective, provide proof, provide info. And if you can, if you're in the wrong, be able to admit you're in the wrong. If you can't do that, the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? That's like, I'll challenge shit when I think it's totally fucking off. When I think it's totally fucked. But if, if I think it's reasonable, I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's totally cool. It is what it is. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with break streamers charging like a little more. I get it. It's impulsive. It's it's now. You, you have a premium for that. Um, it also is the individual's time. I used to not get that. Now I do get that. I don't understand when an individual charges 5x times market. That doesn't make sense. If somebody is doing a service for you or buying you a product, they're going through the time to do that and to get it for you. They can technically charge whatever the fuck they want, but there is a limit and a reasonable profit ratio, I think. Um, but if, if, if you're going through the business with somebody and someone else is like getting in the middle of that and they have no fucking clue to a T, like... Either A, what they're talking about, or they think they know what they're talking about, but they can't provide proof, and you're believing them. I don't want to do business with you at that point, because you're you're just you're like a sheep at that point. You're just believing whatever some bullshit is, is being told to you. It's just like, all right. Uh, I forgot when Dama drinks, he awakens his third eye of wisdom. Fuck yeah. Go to Card Party, Dama, lay out the, the evidence. The thing about Card Party, here's the thing about Card Party. Card Party is one of those spaces where everybody has to act friendly. And the reason that is, is because... Mr. Pat Flynn is running it and Pat is a very good guy and Pat is such a good guy that nobody wants to ruin his event nobody wants to fucking run it south and I think Pat deserves that level of respect because he he literally does nothing but good for the community he is a he is like a beacon of hope so everybody calms their shit acts like a fucking adult and doesn't do dumb shit for that specific period and I agree with that. You should. This guy is giving you an opportunity to come to a big event, to make your platform bigger, to communicate, to make more deals, sales, to talk to other individuals, to like a, a fucking whole plethora of knowledge. The least you can do is not fuck over his event. That's the least you could do. So I, I don't think going to card party and causing drama is ever going to be a thing in my... I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't fucking, I, I don't ever, ever have plans of, I, would I like to go one year? Sure, man. That'd be fun. Would I take shit from anybody? No, absolutely not. But I'd tell, I'd tell the individual, not now. I don't agree with you, but not fucking now. Let's deal with this in another instance, but not right now. Uh, Pokemon has done well with wins and I want to free slide and wreck the free entries for everyone moving forward. Exactly. <laughs> I can say this. Dama doesn't know who the hell I am. He, he and Mao need to buy the last bet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know Pokemon. I literally don't. I don't I don't know. All I know is Pokemon on stream. That's it. I don't know you guys in person. You know what I mean? I don't know you guys. Pat's awesome. The community needs more of that. Pat's a great guy. He, he, he genuinely is a great guy. And um You know what I mean? He, he what he does, he does well. You know what I mean? He's not he's not an idiot by any means. He's a very, very smart guy. 
you can you can tell when somebody's very knowledgeable and smart. It, it not just in po- Pokemon, but business. You know what I mean? And you can translate the two very easily. It's just the you with the Pokemon community, people like to know that you you you're not just here for money, or you're not just here to build a community to you know be like, oh look at me. You have to actually be knowledgeable and show that you care about it. And you can tell when people do that or don't do that. I have no money right now. Blastoise has me broke. Blastoise! I was joking. Y'all go see Scream, bitch. <laughs> I just want to meet Teague. Uh, he doesn't want to meet us. I would Pokemon, but only Teague. Not interested in the high tier. Uh, am I real self too a bit? No, am I? He, do you know what the high tier is this round? He, I don't even think you know what the high tier is. The high tier, the high, I can't, fuck, I can't tell you. The high tier is a Japanese Gem Mint 10 recent, very expensive, big chase card. That's all I'll say. I got to break the seal again. One sec. Hey, yo, what's good? What's good? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm just in the high tier. I'm a real stuff too, a bitch. No, am I? Yeah, you said, dude, no, you're here for money, but I also know that you aren't robbing anyone. To do what I do at the level I do it. So I have to, and here's the thing. I have to fucking do this. To make a small profit, but also be able to put the amount we put in to the giveaways. The amount of shit we give away is fucking unfathomable unfathomable in comparison to most other break streams. The amount of shit we give away weekly is ridiculous. To do that, we need to run this efficiently, and we need to run it at a rate in which people will continuously get involved. The amount of stuff we put into things that actually has cost and value and high value, we need to be doing business to do that. The amount, the small amount I make on the top is so much smaller than you guys would think. It, it really fucking is. It's, it's ri- like when I do my taxes every year, the, the IRS genuinely thinks like at first glance, they're like, you make a lot of money. And then I like do all of our, I do all of my, uh, business expenses and they're like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's wild. Like, oh. Face value, it, it seems like a lot, right? Like, oh, I'm fucking racking in 1.5 to 2K sales per night. That's a lot of money. You know how much money goes into paying for that shit or buying these things or, you know, making sure that 1.5 to 2K actually represents a lot of value. It's crazy. It's crazy. To get into the actual, like, details and the, the grit and dirt of it all, it's like either you're A, buying product to open to get shit to grade to send out to get the values back to, to then use or you buy the raw copy or you buy the the graded copy and that way you're you're not you're not cu- you're cutting corners but it costs more to have uh boxes and do the all the taxes involved with that all the expenses all the paypal fees all the x and yz you have to pay a certain amount and then like i could tell you straight up if i'm buying a case of like 151 at 103 per box plus shipping plus fees plus xyz maybe it's 120 per box do a case at 10 fucking was it 10 or is it 20? I don't let's do 10 boxes. It'll cost me 1200. Maybe I put them at 11 per pack. That's going to be 220 per box. My total profit gained on that is $1100. Take the PayPal fee out of that 3%. 33, I'm going to make uh 1064 on that. And then you know how much of that 1064 I actually get? Well, let's take out the freebies for the week. Maybe that's another 2 to 300 dollars. So then it becomes 700. Now let's take out all the extras we put in the lucky bags. Maybe that's another 2 to 300. The actual gain on all that shit is like so little. It's wild. It's so wild. And like so many people don't get that, but you're not supposed to. You don't have to get it. I have to get it. I have to know it and I have to run it efficiently. 
for those of you that do understand it, you get it. And you understand it's it's a lot, but it's worth every fucking second. I, I genuinely, and I mean this, I fucking love doing this. Even though, like, I could run a business where it's all fucking money-based and profit. And I could give it so much less time and so much less thought. And I know, I know, I learned from this how to do business in the most efficient way and, and my other businesses. But this one taught me a lot more about, like, market type shit. But, like, I could do it anywhere else and be great. But I love this. I absolutely love this. And I would do it fucking any day with the minimal amount of profit gained in the end of the year. I would do it all over again. It's so fucking fun. Uh, dude, I know you're here. For, uh, happy birthday. Thank you, Space Daddy Gangsta. I appreciate that, man. Uh, have you ever thought of making a Round of LBs theme like the high hits would all be evolutions? Yes, I have thought about that. Um, I did want to do that, actually. Like an evolution themed round. I've, I've, I've been thinking about it. I was actually thinking of doing a 151 themed round, like the English 151. I think next round I want to do that, actually. I was literally just thinking of implementing that. Um, what's up, just like, what's up, Pokemon? How you doing, brother? Yeah, come tax time, it's rough. Yeah, so, like, if, give you an example. I'm not, like, I can tell you exactly, like, last year. Like, last year, I think my total taxes are going to come to, like, total for the year? Maybe, like, I think I, I, IRS won't get mad at me because I'm going to tell them that. It's, like, maybe 150 to 170K, right? You know how much of that is written off? Because I have to spend money to keep this shit running, and then everything else I spend money on? Maybe 140 to 100 130 to 140,000 at the very least. And I haven't done my taxes yet this year, so I don't know that exact number. That's probably going to be more. So the actual earned income? Nah, man. Nah. If I was running a business to make money, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. The the profit ratios would be ridiculous. Like think of like a clothing business. If I spent 3 years actually giving time to a clothing business with like knowing what I do for marketing, Fuck, dude. It, it, the amount of money I'd make is ridiculous. And the actual earned income would be ridiculous. The thing about the Pokemon space is I love it. I genuinely love it. Like, all the money I make from a lot of my other businesses, the income, the earned income, the actual profit, I put into this business because I love it. It's A lot of people don't know that, but like, hey. You know what I mean? Uh, sorry, I don't mean to be a bother, but I don't think I got freebies for my last order. No, I got you, Claudio. Let me get you. Claudio! What do we got? Five for you? Oh, here. Ugh, Claudio! We have you with, uh... Oh, that's really cute. E-Series First Ed Nidoran from fucking Japanese what, Expedition or some shit? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, Charmeleon. I like this one, though. This E-Series Nidoran. It's very cute. It's a very cute one, Claudio. Claudio! Anyway, what else are we talking about? Uh, I three businesses now f number four. Yeah, so you get it. You you understand. You get it exactly. It's nobody's businesses but yours because it's the culture and for the community at the end of the day. Yeah, dude. It's I love doing this. It's really fun. The amount of money it costs to to run ads. The amount amount of money it costs uh, for every fucking fee involved in every little thing is insane. It's it's nuts. Like at the end of the day, when you acknowledge everything that goes into it. Maybe then you can talk about it. But until then, when people don't understand that, I, I genuinely, it's like, it's in one ear out the other. I don't, I don't listen. Because most of the time, it, you don't know what you're talking about. If you do know what you're talking about, like, if it's something simple that has nothing to do with business, I'll listen. But if it's business related, either you, you, you know more than me and I'll listen, or you don't know anything. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'll listen but it's usually going one ear out the other because it's like you don't you don't understand what it's like to run one, especially at, at X level. You don't you don't get it. It's like if I were to talk shit, if I were to talk about business to somebody who's rocking in uh two, three million a year in their business, I I don't get it. I don't get it to their level. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut and listen. Paldean, cool. Temporal turn. <laughs> temporal. I like temporal to like open, but it's really fucking rough. It's, it's all right. The write-offs are what keeps this hobby afloat for content creators. Otherwise, everyone would be screwed. Yep. If there was no write-offs in this hobby, people would be fucked. People would be fucked. Love your shorts with mine. My favorite one is the air box where you check your vampire hands. That was a fun one. Thanks, brother. Anytime, Claudio. I really want to do Dama all 151. I'm probably going to do it. So when this round ends, we'll probably do the next round is like all the high tiers will be 151. I want to I do it because I think it'd be very thematic. I think it'd be cool. 
And then maybe we'll do an evolution one as well down the road. I think it'd be full. Or I think it'd be cool. I had fun getting my cards last video. Yeah, JD, we still got to ship out your cards, man. I mean, we will be doing it on Monday. But JD got a free Blastoise SIR and some other stuff because Pokemon bought him an LB. It's like, it's awesome. The biggest thing that I enjoy about this is the community aspect of it is really fun. Like, I like our community. I think it's cool. And then, like, I'm able to learn shit every day about this hobby. And it's it's genuinely fun for me. I really like it. Because you learn new shit. You learn new shit. Like, there's so many sets I don't know specific things about. There's release dates and, like, specific things that delayed things. Or there's specific errors. There's price fluctuations of shit that don't make sense and you can look into. There's so many cool fucking things about this hobby that, like, we all share at the core. But then people have opinions and then people have no justification and then people it's like at the core of this hobby it's great and we all have the same fucking likes but then it just sparks out of control everyone can't gotta be careful monday weirdos are going to be lurking <laughs> on here or in general well because the um is monday the uh monday's the the eclipse right Everybody's going to lose their shit. Uh. How do you just chill? <laughs> Ghost Rider's a psychic would be a good theme, out, in my opinion. That'd be fun. There's lots of themes I would like. The theme I think I want to do for the next round of LBs is do um, all like 151 gem mint 10s of the chases. So like Zard, Blastoise, Vina, Pikachu, Zapdos, etc. And, like, do those as, like, the high hits. And then, uh, you know, kind of incorporate 151, like, base non-graded hits into the other bags. I think that'd be fun. Because a lot of people love 151. So, it's like, what, what you know, what is there to lose? You know what I mean? I think it'd be fun. So, we have three bags left for the reserves. They're not getting... I'm going to give people... Here's what I'm going to do. Did somebody get a hit out of the last LBs? Ethan, there are three more bags for the reserves. Three more. All right. There are three more bags. Oddish, Ammonite, Aerodactyl. My man, Ethan, you have one of the high tiers could be one of these ones. So if you want to get in, Ethan, one of these ones could be the big boy. You could get it. So at the end of the day, Dom has no clue who who the hell Lurk and Lowry is. <laughs> yeah, I have no fucking clue. And then what was the other thing? Let me see if I can read it. And LL is full of shit. I feel I feel that. You lying, Dom. I'll call you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. If no, yeah, for sure. If I'm fucking bullshitting, call me out. I, I don't like non-transparency. I, I don't like it. The only benefit that I will say. What am I allowed to say? Without having issues with the government. What am I allowed to say? Okay, here's what I can say. Hypothetically. Hypothetically speaking. And I don't I don't do this yet. So I don't I don't reap the rewards from this. Hypothetically speaking, in this hobby, there is a benefit that you don't experience in other businesses. And that benefit is selling your collection and or cards for cash because it is undocumented. Most of the time. I do not participate in this. I don't even have an opportunity to participate in this. However, individuals that do this can dodge their fucking taxes doing this. And can make hard, cold cash. And then re-put it into whatever they want. And it's fucking undocumented. And that shit's something... And it's an advantage people have in this hobby. Or the TCG space. That's an advantage. I don't fucking... I can't take advantage of that yet. I don't... I don't... I, I, would I? Mr. IRS? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm hammered, Donald. Bro, I'm about to join you. <laughs> hey, bro. What's good? Siam, how you doing? The haunting fan theory surprises that Ash and Pikachu died. Their ghosts have possessed their corpse. Thus, Ash and Pikachu continues apparition, never aging with the times. I'm down. The question is, is my man Ethan going to get one of the last three bags and get the high tier? We're going to find out. I'm going to give... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give everybody 10 minutes 
I'm going to give everybody 10 minutes to get one of the last three lucky bags. And if nobody does, if nobody does, I'm going to make a big decision on them. I'm not going to tell you what, but I'll tell you that. Yes, he does. Ken, I'm unaware of that. Yeah, so here, I'm going to bre break it down for you really quickly. If I buy a card that I have the intention of eventually... I'm going to break this down for you in the most simple way possible. And all you guys are going to learn a little trick about this community and how people, why, why people do this to an extent. Say I got my boy Gasly here. A little bit of a Gasly PSA. Well, Gasly, I, I picked him up for 25 bucks. But say I grade him for 14 bucks and he comes back at 10. And say the market price of Gasly going off of eBay right now is $300. Say I go to a convention. And I say, hey, man, I got this Gasly here. He's going for 300 market. I'll give it to you for 280 cash. And the guy at the vendor says, oh, yeah, bro, I'm down. Fucking save me 20 bucks. And they give me 280 cash. Well, I just spent documented $20 plus my PayPal fees, which or my uh, my PSA fees, maybe 14 bucks for the card. Um, and maybe over, over total cost me 40 bucks. All that is fucking I can write all of that off because it's part of a business. On top of that, now I have $280 cash that the IRS does not know about. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it, hypothetically. Now, am I doing this? No. I'm not fucking over the IRS. I tell them exactly what I what I owe. Um, but do people do this? Yes. Every fucking day. Just something you should know about. Let's see. Um, I'll buy the Ammonite if people buy the others right now. Ethan, I'll tell you this. Here's what I'll tell you, Ethan. Ethan, if you buy the Ammonite, Ethan, I'm going to tell you something. If you buy the Ammonite, I will make it so those other two bags get situated with. Where What I mean is that we, if you buy the Ammonite right now, Ethan, I will make sure this rolls. 100%. I can, I can guarantee that. Um, what are your thoughts on Mystic? Not a fan of his Pokemon Rip side. Mystic, um, from what I've seen, he's all about money. And I, I've spoken to Ryan about Mystic. Um, and Mystic is very, very, very weaselly. He's very weaselly, man. He's he's totally he wants to influence things to his his benefit. He hires individuals that can do the job for him so he can work on his fucking Pokemon Go shit. Or whatever else he wants to fucking do. He's he he's in a the, his whole group seems like a bunch of kiss ass people who just get paid by him. It's like I'm not gonna cut. I'm not gonna shit on the guy for what he does that he puts effort into. Like work is work, right? We all work, but I will shit on you for doing questionable or deceitful things. And I don't trust him one bit. I brought that up to Ryan before Ryan was very opinionated about him. I was like, this guy's a fucking piece of shit. And Ryan was like, yeah, I don't trust him. And I was like, me either. And then we started going down reasons why I didn't trust him. And then, lo and behold, weeks later, it's like a fucking meme in Ryan's shit that, like, this guy's a fucking, you know, he's questionable. And then all the shit came out about him regarding his, like, whole fucking vintage extravaganza. It's like, all right, buddy, <laughs> we know what you're doing. I'm going to be paying West Virginia state taxes and income tax unless I get your assistance. Um, Dom, I'll compete against you. <laughs> so yeah, Pokemon, what you, what you should do then Pokemon, I want to tell you this, not as a tax professional, cause I'm not, but Pokemon, it might be a good idea if you file an LLC with your state to have a Pokemon business. Maybe you start an eBay and start selling cards, but also maybe the income you make from that eBay, maybe just maybe you buy a lot of stuff here that you then sell on eBay. Therefore you could write off the expenses, right? Maybe. Not a tax professional. I'm not a tax professional, and I'm not telling you what to do. But hypothetically, that's something to think about. I'm a tinfoil hat type guy sometimes. Sorry, Magus. LMFAO, LMAO. Like the one where all ghost Pokemon are dead humans. I love that. We all never lie to, to our tax people. No, I, I personally don't lie to my tax people. And that's not me bullshitting you guys. Like to try and seem like I don't lie to my like I don't lie to them. I pay the IRS. Uh however. Do a lot of individuals lie to their lie to the IRS? Yes. Should I? Absolutely not. I never would. 
We need a watch reviewer. <laughs> Rose scammed me when I was like seven during his Discord cocktail. I fell for those watch ads and get free money. <laughs> Is there more pack opening? Yeah, we can do some pack opening. I'm down. Not at the moment. <laughs> we can make some packs happen. Yeah, Ethan, if you get the Ammonite, though, I will guarantee. I will guarantee you that we uh we run this shit. You have my you have my word, Ethan. If you get the Ammonite, I will guarantee we run this shit, Ethan. You have my word. And I am very big on my word. Where's my beer? the fuck's my beer? I need another beer. My beer. One more beer. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Send the money. I'll take the Ammonite. All right, sweet. I have an accountant. Your, your accountant is... The thing about accountants, to my knowledge, hypothetically is accountants are really, really good at doing your taxes and you should always fucking have one or talk to one at the very least. However, one thing accountants do lack is what specific businesses entitle and how you can find specific reasons to write shit off or call this or that or that or that with specific businesses. However, if you bring it up to your accountant, they will find out every little thing about it. They don't know it offhand, but if you tell them exactly what you're doing, they will fucking tell you to a T. An accountant is very good. Get an accountant. Hire one. The amount of money they will save you is well worth the amount you're spending. And that's my subjective opinion that you should not agree uh, with or do just because I said it. Right? Ethan sent for the Ammonite. All right. All right. Send the money. I'll take Ammonite. Sounds good. Ethan, let's get you the Ammonite, brother. So here's what I'm going to do, Ethan. You have my word. I said that I would make sure this rolls if you got the Ammonite. So here's what I'm going to do. Oddish and Aerodactyl. They are not the high tier bags. I can tell you that confidently. I'm not going to tell you guys what else, uh, what is the high tier bag. I'm not going to tell you. However, what I'm going to do is get the Ammonite for Ethan. And I'm going to show you what the Oddish and Aerodactyl were. Just so you know that they were not the high tiers. And I'm, I'm going to remove them because let's get this fucking reserve getting rolled, right? Let's let's roll it tonight. I feel like that'd be fun. Oddish and Ammonite. I'm going to show you guys what they were real quick. They might have been high tiers, might have been low tiers, whatever. We'll uh, situate it. All right. Oddish, Ammonite. Let's find out. Or Oddish, Aerodactyl. Let's find out what they were. All right. So here, this was Oddish. Okay. And where was Aerodactyl? I'll show you exactly what they were. Okay, cool. So here's what Oddish and Aerodactyl were. Oddish was a Japanese rocket Charmander in a Gem Mint 10. It's a nice bag. Solid. Aerodactyl was... Uh, let's take a look. Aerodactyl was... Two Machamp spots. That's $20 value. Ghastly IR, $25 value. 45 46 47 48 This guy's actually like 2 bucks. 51 52 53 CSR... Probably worth five bucks. Uh, 58, probably worth like six bucks. This is like a 60 ish dollar bag. So, Aerodactyl was a low mid. Aerodactyl was a low mid. And Oddish was, what is a uh, rocket Charmander and a 10 going for? Let's find out. Um, Let me see. Rocket Charmander. PSA 10. Rocket Charmander, PSA 10, Japanese. Uh, he is a hundred, $108 slab market right now. So that would have been a nice, a small gain. Um, he gets four slab. Oh, yeah, Ethan, you also get four slab box. You get four slab box with this. Plus four slab. Yeah, I saw him. Because <laughs> Antha clip it. All right. Uh, Dan, the Ammonite doesn't have it. Either because you said no one bought any of the three, you would do the same thing. No, I said if you, if anyone bought, if you bought the Ammonite, I would do it. You specifically said the Ammonite. So there's still a chance, Ethan. Oh, if you said Aerodactyl, I might have not have offered that. But you said the Ammonite. So I'm going to leave you with that. All right. So Ethan, we're going to take these... And we're going to incorporate them into the next round. All right. These are going to go into the next round. They'll be incorporated um, one way or another. That fucking ant, bro. I'm telling you. We love our boy. He's a icon. 
We're going to incorporate these two in the next round. And to incorporate them in the next round, we're going to put them together like this. So the next bag, I'm going to tell you guys, next round. Check this out. Next round, all of this is going to go into the Oddish bag. I'm telling you what one of the bags is for the first time ever. The Oddish bag contains a Charmander 10 and everything else. In the next round, the Oddish bag contains all of this. You have my word. If you don't believe me, you're loss. If you do believe me, buy the Oddish pack. <laughs> Transparency, right? Oddish Aerodactyl go into the graveyard. All right, so it's time to roll the rest of the reserves. So what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, shuffle them all up, and we are going to shuffle them up in a random order, and I'm going to put the high tier at the back of the pile. So I do know which one the high tier is. I know who, who exactly it is. Um... And we're going to go from there, right? Sweet. So we're going to put them in order like that. I'm going to have some drink. Let's read chat before we do it. Uh, what's that gloom? Was gloom in there? Was gloom in there? That does go with the 151 theme. Holy fucking shit, it does. <laughs> um, beautiful Charmander, that fucking ant, the boy. Uh, that Oddish. Oh, the Oddish? Was there Oddish in there? Oh, the Oddish was the Charmander. Good. Yeah, good slab. All right, you ready? Here we go. Let's get into this shit. Oh, wait, I can bring these over here now. I think I forgot to do this last round, but we'll do it this round. They're fucking all here. All right, here we go. You ready? Beer. Cheers. I know who has it. Me too, sweetheart. We both know who has it. All right, here we go. First bag. Claudio with... E wait, it's fucking foggy, dude. <laughs> Claudio with eggs. Claudio, you got eggs. It is not the high tier, but let's see what it is. Let's switch cam. Let's find the fucking... Let's find the bag for you. Okay. Oh, right here. Sweet. So, Claudio! Let's take a look. So, Claudio, remember, uh, the highest value thing in this, uh, Pokemon will take. Because he said he would buy the bag for you, but the highest valued thing in this, he would be taking. So there's three Machamp spots. Ghastly IR, 25 bucks. Machamp. Or, uh, <laughs> Malamar. <laughs> like, three bucks. Hose a buck. It's a crimp cut clay doll. That's pretty cool. Goofy little guy is crimp cut. Or <laughs> crimp cut. He's got a crimp on him. You could grade him and somebody might buy him for way too much. Uh, Mimikyu, a dollar. Scavalian, a dollar. Walking Wake, probably like two bucks. Flaffy's probably like three. Chestnut's one. Gordy's probably like fucking four. Mimikyu's a dollar. Basic energy. Oh, Erica SIR. Ooh. She's probably like 15 to 20 bucks. So, total value of this bag, I'm going to be honest, let's take a look. Let's call it what it is. Like, around 15 to 20 bucks. We'll call her 20 because I'm feeling generous. 20, $20.50, 21.50, 24.50, 25, uh, 28, 30, 31, 32, subjective, <laughs> 33, uh, probably like 37, 61. 91. Total value of this bag was 91. Highest value item was the three Machamp spots, Claudio. So we're going to send these to Pokemon. He's going to get three spots on the Machamp for your bag. Because he said he'd buy you the bags if he got the best thing in it. So, Pokemon, you're going to get three spots on the Machamp. You're going to get 11, 12, and 13. So Pokemon, you're going to get that. And then, Claudio, you're going to get literally everything else. I think it's a damage. <laughs> so you're gonna get literally everything else, Claudio. You're gonna get Ghastly IR, Malamar, uh, Ho, Crimp Cut Claydol, Mimikyu, Scovalian, Walking Wake, Flaffy, Chestnut, Gordy, Mimikyu, Basic Energy, Erica's Imitation. Let's leave up your Erica's and your Ghastly, because uh, there's the most expensive cards in there, and want to get them to you in good condition. All right? Let's get those out there to you. All righty. Alrighty. He took my crimp card. I pulled it the other day and said, I thought you fucking wanted me to put it in the things. <laughs> no. I thought you wanted me to put it in the things. You said, I took my damn crimp card. <laughs> no, sweetheart. Why do you take my crimp card? I didn't know. I thought you wanted me to put it in a bag. Claudio, would you, would you graciously trade for your crimp cut? Will you trade for your crimp cut? I'll give you a... Uh, Fuck do I have on me? <laughs> Claudio Oh, I know what I have on me. Claudio, hold up. Claudio, I'll give you two Machamp spots for the crimp cut. 
I'll give you two Machamp spots for the crimp cut, Claudio. That's twenty bucks for the crimp cut. You 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 take that? Do you agree? Are you gonna take you gonna take that offer? I'll give you two Machamp spots for the crimp cut. Are you cool with that? I'll put another two Machamp into that fucking thing. <laughs> I just said that was mine. That was keeping. My, you can't yell at me. It's my birthday. <laughs> I'll give you two Macham spots for the crimp cut if you're cool with that, Claudio. Let me know if you're cool with that. If not, I'll have to bargain. Twenty dollars for a crimp cut. Can I take anything? Can I take anything physical? Yeah, for sure. Let me let me see. Um, what else is in here? Because this thing has basically just got retired. The slab is not worth the crimp cut, but you know what might be? You know what might be worth the crimp cut, Claudio? These two. The Superior V-Star Gold and the Corviknight. That'd be worth the crimp cut. Are you cool with that? He said, give those two my champs to Pokemon. Do you want... Are you want to do it that way? You're going to have Dama's soul, Claudio. <laughs> Insufficient funds. <laughs> Insufficient funds. I don't have one. <laughs> Claudio said deal. All right, you want to do Superior Corviknight? We can do that. All right, so Claudio, get Superior Corviknight, and I'm going to get the clay doll back. I thought Mai wanted me to put that. Th I fucked up. I goofed. Mai, I have attained your crimp cut back. Let's go. All right, crimp cut. This is Mai's. <laughs> I'm putting a thing so I never forget this. And I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to write Mai's crimp cut on the bottom so I never, ever forget. Mize card. Hell yeah. All right. All right. So these are all going to go to Claudio. Claudio. Nice. The eggs. Was it the eggs bag? Was that the one we just did? The eggs? No, that's give the spots to po Oh, okay. Give the spots to Pokemon. All right. We can do that. We can do that then. Let's switch them out. JKJ. I was saying deal to your soul. Oh, that's yeah, that's fair. You know, you, yeah, yeah. I, I w if I had one, I would give it to you. <laughs> I was born without one. Don't know why. Maybe God doesn't like me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, too much champ. We'll give it over to. Uh, we'll give it to Pokemon. Fifteen, six. All right, no, four. Wait, fourteen, fifteen. Pokemon. Fourteen, fifteen. Nice. Woo. All righty. And then we'll give the rest. Over to Claudio wants your soul. <laughs> I told you I don't have one. It's impossible. All right, Ghastly Erica. All right, it's gonna go to Claudio. Claudio, nice. Hold up. Claudio. Oh yeah, freebies, Claudio. My bad. One, two, three, four, five freebie. I thought I said we were doing six tonight, right? Zubat, Apom, Comia Art, Dark Machoke, Electivire, Roserade. Sweet. Nice. Next up is going to be. Next up is going to be Ninetales, Choppa. Choppa with the nine tails. Nine tails. Take a look. Choppa nine tails. Where's it? Ooh, hair. Choppa nine tails. Where's it at? Ooh, is it on this side? Ooh, Choppa. What do we got here for you? Choppa. Let's see. Choppa, let's take a look here. Choppa, we got for you. Baby Shiny, Abra, Sylveon, Espeon, Espeon, Hunchcrow, Serena, Charizard, Noivern, Gramble, Garbodor, uh, Hollow Torterra, Hollow fucking the boy, Charizard, Full Art, and Eevee, Mint 9. Ooh. Get this guy's a $20 fucking card. Choppa. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Eevee 9. Some of these tag teams because I'm in cause I'm <laughs> retaliation. You have free he, I'll forget it's his. <laughs> if you who Eevee. How how about this? Uh how about this, Claudio? I will 
in exchange for the for the clay doll card back, I'll give you a soul. I can't give you mine. I don't I don't know where it is, but I'll give you a one. I just had to I have to bargain with a few uh, Middle Eastern guys. I might be able to obtain one. <laughs> I'll get it to you in a bottle, an enchantment potion. All right, this is gonna go to Choppa. Choppa. Choppa, we also got you with some freebies. Let's get it going. Jigglypuff, Drowsy, Geodude from the Arev, Diglett, Base, Star, you, uh, Primeape, Poliwhirl, Porygon. Nice. I like the Porygon the most out of that. Pretty card. Choppa. Nice, nice. Hello. Why are we being difficult? There we go. Choppa. Next up is going to be Krabby. Elijah, no. Elijah, so close yet so far. But Krabby might be good, Elijah. Might be good. Elijah. Krabby. Zard with grading. Oh, the Terra Zard? Oh, the big boy Zard. The big boy Zard. You want to do the big boy Zard? Let me take a look for you. Take a look for you. Let's see, let's see the Zard boy. Left to right. Uh, tiny bit. Tiny bit right. One print line across the... Here, I'll switch camps so you can see. Um, tiny bit right. There's a tiny print line going across here. Bottom to top. Little bottom. How's the back? Back looks good. Just a tiny bit bottom heavy. Uh, if I were to grade it, I think it would get a nine. I think it would pull a nine for you, Chopper. Chopper. <laughs> if I if I would grade, it, I think it's graded a nine. But that's up to you. It's whatever you think. I think it graded a nine though. Is that the Choppa Lucky I bought Choppa? Oh, it might be. Choppa, did you not buy a Lucky Bag? If you didn't, if you didn't, yeah, the high the high of this one, this will go to uh, Pokemon. What just dropped here? Oh, that's where the... Those are those. Okay. Yeah, the slab is going to go to Pokemon because Choppa, this was bought for you. So Choppa, this is going to go to Pokemon. The Eevee. That print line would hurt it. Yeah, the print line. I mean, you can have one print line and like still sneak a ten. Like a good example, the Mewtwo, the Japanese basic Mewtwo we just did in the incentive that got a ten the other day it has a print line going right through the middle. And that's Japanese vintage, and it had a print line. Uh, Krabby, let's do Krabby. Krabby, nice right here. Elijah, take a look. Elijah, you got. <laughs> it's very simple, very easy bag. Elijah, you got. Uh, Japanese gym, Misty's Dugong. So you have gym heroes, Misty's Dugong, and a gem in 10. Very nice. Misty's Dugong. That is that is it. <laughs> Elijah, that's it. So Elijah. Elijah. I'll put that there for you, brother. That was, a, that was an easy bag. <laughs> that was an easy bag. How was Misty's Dugong going for in a 10? I'd say like 80, 90 bucks probably. Krabby. Could be a little more. Next up, Kieran with Hypno. Kieran with Hypno. Let's find Hypno. I found Hypno. All right. Kieran Hypno is looking like... Uh, let's take a look here. Hypno is looking like a Maximum Belt, Shift Tree, Illustration Rare, Cleffa, Coridon, Caesar, Gasly. This is a low tier, Kieran, because this is what it would have been before the Gasly. So this is probably like 25, probably like fucking 5, 30, 31, 32... 36, probably like 40 something bucks here in value, Kieran. That's a low tier, Kieran. Kieran, no! Kieran, I want to see Kieran get a high tier, bro. I feel like I haven't seen Kieran get a high tier in a minute. Kieran, I need you to get a high tier, bro. Next round with the 151 theme. I want to see it happen. Kieran, let's get you your. Oh, did I get? Yeah, I got. Okay, Kieran, your freebies Magmar, Col beautiful Colmy Art, uh, Cinequil, Mankey, Energy Trainer, Oddish, Meowth, Radicate. All right, Kieran Hypno. Next is Jolteon Pokemon. Pokemon, not the Jolteon. <laughs> Where's Jolteon? Let's take a look. Jolteon. 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 Here we go. Jolteon. Oh, wrong scene. Jolteon. Jolteon. Too much amp on the front. Take a look here. All right, got two Machamp slots. 
the complimentary ghastly mimikyu 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 wug trio heroes cape iron thorns vaporeon milotic forest seal stone leafion v mawile machoke venusaur full art these need to be sleeved um all right so like one two three four it's probably like fucking six bucks 10 11 13 15 this is playable, so this is probably like 20, 21, 22. 22 plus 10, 32, plus this, probably like 25, so 57, plus this, 25. It's going to be 82, plus this, 102. You about broke even on this one. About broke even on this one, Pokemon. 102 bucks. Okay. I'm going to choke. Vina. So uh, you made two bucks on this one. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Two Machamp spots as well. It's the, it's the Machamp! <laughs> one, two. It's going to be 18, 19. Po Pokemon, you are ruling this Machamp right now. If you don't get this Machamp, I'd be very surprised. But hey, you never know. Snipes do happen. Pokemon! Alrighty. Let's get you a new bag for this. Come on out. There we go. I know you have another bag. Or another... Yeah, another LB here. So I'll keep that one up to the side. In case you need to use it again. Put that right here. Next up. Dragonite for Kieran. Kieran. Dragonite. No. Let's find Dragonite. Dragonite. Dragonite right here. Okay, let's take a look. All righty. Kieran. Dragonite. Take a look here for you. I hope it's a, hope it's a solid bag. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kieran, what do we got for you here? Two Machamp spots, $20 value. $25, that's $45, $46, $47, $48, uh, $50, $51. These are all These guys together are all 20, so that's 71. Unknown is like 30. You made 101. You made a you made a dollar. <laughs> Kieran, you made a buck. Kieran, you made a buck on that bag. Unknown V Altard, though. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool card. I remember pulling this from Paradigm Trigger and being like, yeah. I fucking pull the break. I pulled an alt art. <laughs> Lo and behold, people hated it after release. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think it's a fucking solid card, though. I don't know. Me talking shit. I think it's a solid card, personally. But uh, too many champ spots for Kieran. Kieran, you're gonna get spots 18, 19. Kieran. So Kieran, you made a dollar on that bag. You made a buck. Kieran, you robbed me blind. You robbed me blind, Kieran. How could you? How could you, Kieran? How could you do that? How could you fucking do that, Kieran? How dare you? Okay, let's get you some freebies. Let's do seven. Beedrill, Rattata, Goldeen, Machop, Ponyta, Vulpix, Machoke. Here in. Next up. Dugong, gong, gong. Tyson. Gonna get the Dugong. In the LB reserves. Tyson, Dugong. Let's take a look. Dugong. Dugong, gong, gong. Dugong. <laughs> Dugong, Dugong, Dugong. Tyson went for the Dugong. And it is. Yeah. Mimikyu, Mimikyu, Snorlax, Gengar, Cleffa, Jinx, Wigglytuff, Caterpie. That's a low tier. Low tier bag, Tyson. Call it what it is. It's not beat around the bush. It's not beat around the bush. It's a low tier. Lots of high tiers picked up early in this round, so not a surprise that some low tiers are coming in now. We're going to get one. Oh, that's really cute. Neo Destiny's Vulpix. Super cute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful freebies. Beautiful freebies. Tyson. Oh, Tyson wants his stuff. Ooh, there we go. Tyson wants his stuff shipped out, so we'll put that with the shipping stuff. Oh, wait, we did. Did we? Did we? Did we? Did we expose who it's gonna be? <laughs> who the winner is? Dugong. Next up is Ethan. Ethan plus four slab. Ethan, you were so close. You're gonna get four slab, Ethan. Let me get those for you. Four. Let's do it. Can I grab them? Uh, one, two, three, four. 
All right, Ethan, let's see how those go for you. They're a pump or not. Fucking box, dude. Come on now. There we go. I can put them in. There we go. Sweet. Fix yourself. Nice. All right, Ethan, do we get a slab? One, two, three, four. No slab there, Ethan. All right, Ethan, you're going to get the Ammonite. Ammonite. Burr, 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 burr. Ammonite. All right, let's take a look here. Ammonite. Ethan, is Ammonite the move, or is he a low tier or a mid tier? Yeah. Toxtricity, Mighty and a Pikachu. Sydney, superior. That's a low tier, Ethan. Ethan, no. Ethan done got a low tier. Poor Ethan. My man, Ethan. My man, Ethan. Probably got like 40 something bucks out of that one. Ethan, that's a small loss. Ethan. Uh, what did I write that so weird for? Ethan. And then we'll get you your freebies, which are going to be. Let's take a look here. I grab them. Hello. Thank you. All righty. Tenant <laughs> surge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ethan. It's a funny card. I like this card the most, actually. This one. So funny. Goofy fucking card. Ethan. And lastly, Porygon is going to be the high tier. Porygon plus four slab. Let's see how this goes. Can I grab them? Can I fucking grab them? Hello? I need to put them all back like this. So you, can, you guys can see, right? See how it moves like that? I need to get the one, two, three, four. It has to be in order. It's fucked. Ugh. All right. And move it back like that. Sweet. Four. Four slab. Let's see how it goes. One, two, three, four. It's two 20 round pumps. Porygon. Let's see how Porygon goes. Porygon. All righty. Porygon. What's good, Porygon? Porygon is going to have right off the bat. You can already see it, man. You can already see it, dude. I can already see it. We got Ghastly, Bronzor, Lickitung, Saul's Buck, <laughs> Caesar, Crydon, Maridon, Salvatore, Explorer's Guidance, but then the big boy that we added in. It's going to be the beautiful Charizard EX SAR Gemint 10 from Shiny Treasures. Beautiful, beautiful fucking slap, man. Very nice. This was our second high tier we added in this round. The first one uh, was the Giratina Altart in a 9 OC, the highest OC grade you can get, which is like a five to six hundred dollar slab. And then this one, we just had it, or this was the second one we added in. Beautiful, beautiful fucking Gem 10 Charge Art EX SR. Nice, man. I did say it, but I really thought it was Gloom. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get uh, all situated. And the freebies, let's take a look. One, two, three, four. You get three more. Five, six. <laughs> One more. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Seven. Cly score. All right. Pokemon, congrats, man. He's having fucking nights, dude. He's having nights. Beautiful slab, bro. Beautiful slab. Nice, dude. Pokemon. Congratulations. Alrighty. Alrighty. Sweet. Let's read chat. Wait, actually, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Then let's read chat. Oh, I got to pee so bad. Where's my drink? Oh, it's over here. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, let me go to the bathroom really quickly. I'm going to read chat.
All righty. What's good? Let's get it going. All right, let's read chat. Uh, what's going on, chat? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Crime is the most, uh, let's see, that's Poke Eevee, that's fine. Oop, LML, I'm actually the crime, the Cremo is the most bad. Everyone keep their soul snide. Oh, <laughs> Bold of you to think we have them. True, gotta buy them bag shells. Not a bad side to pick up in my opinion. Boober, it's literally impossible, got those a chance. I do like that point of view, man, so pretty. Don't think you gave me my freebie. Uh, well, we're trying hard on that, my champ, not my boy Dragonite. I know if you love that card, that's how I felt. I'm gonna get some sleep, Good night, everyone. Hey, good night, sweetheart, I'll be up in a bit. Night my good night my good night my good night my it's not like super low I didn't say it but I really thought it was gloom on a roll for sure uh or some damn plant <laughs> of course uh on a roll called it me so tired congrats though Pokemon a beautiful card texture is really nice on it when I have the money I'm asking Pokemon to pick a lucky bag out for me roll oh yeah we do gotta do the roll tonight so we gotta do the roll for uh Umbreon eight and Charizard EX SR uh, alrighty sweet. So we got to do the roll for these guys. We got to do the rolls for these guys. The Charizard EX SR and the Umbreon V Nearman 8. So like uh, total value there, probably like what? Two something? All said and done? Right? It's like a hundred dollar slab and like a hundred fucking something dollar card. Not bad. Of course. on a, Of course. Wait. Tyson said of course? Tyson. 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 We need to have a talk. You better tell me right now, Tyson, you're being sarcastic. Because if you're serious, I got to remind you, there was an instance where you had really fucking good rounds, like back to back to back. And instead of people being like, of course, they were like, congratulations. You got to take your losses like you take your wins. I always say that. Come on, Tyson. Unless you're fucking with me, then you're fucking with me, then I can't. I, I can't. I can't decipher it because it's fucking YouTube chat. If you're fucking with me. Yeah, man. I don't. Motherfucker's on a fucking. <laughs> Pokemon's on a run, dude. He's on one of them runs. If you're not fucking with me, though. Uh, let's read. Touch is real nice when I have the time. Uh, well, at least we got to start a new set. True. We got uh, we got one five one. Oh, you mean you got to start a new set like. Uh... All right, there we go. See, that's the thing. That's the thing about YouTube chat that sucks is like. There's so many fucking people that are dead serious. They're like, fuck this guy. He won. And then there's Tyson. And I'm like, fuck, man. I know Tyson fucks around. But then, like, I'm like, is he fucking around? <laughs> nah, Tyson's chill. Tyson's chill. I like Tyson. I genuinely like like Tyson. See, the, the, the low-key thing you guys don't know is Tyson and Pokemon just switched. They, they just switched. They're my alt accounts. They're both my alt account. You guys don't know. You guys don't fucking know this. Next week, Tyson's going to win everything, and Pokemon's going to lose everything, and it's just I'm switching alt accounts. You guys don't get it. It's it's layers. You have to have layers of protection when scamming everybody. You guys don't get it yet. <laughs> You'll understand. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you flat out what I'm doing, but you, you won't believe me. You're like, there's no fucking shot he'd do that. Of course I am. I'm scamming all of you. <laughs> anyway. Lucky bags. Done for that round. We got to make a new round. Um, let's do the rolls for the Charizard and the Umbreon, and then we'll wrap it up, right? Fun little birthday stream, I think. It was, it was good. We gave away a lot of... Sh we're giving a lot of fun shit. Uh, we had some good rounds. It was cool. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, we ranted a bunch. Always fun. Let's take a look. Um, you know, he's on a fucking streak right now. I love in WV trying to find out what Dom to cam is damn lucky. <laughs> if one of you guys can get a lucky bag, like a, a fucking camera set up right there, I'm fucked. <laughs> you guys will, I will never win. I will never do good on these. I will always lose. And technically, like if we, if we be like real to the point, the last round of lucky bags. Oh, dude, I lost so much money. <laughs> like. Dude, the last round of lucky bags, we had a uh, two seven hundred dollar bags, and then we had a uh, like a four or five hundred dollar bag. So it was like nineteen hundred dollars of just three bags in a thirty round bout, and then take tw take um twenty. It would be twenty six other no twenty seven other bags. 
that are all like varying typically around 100 like I'd say like 75 to 150 in value I lost my ass but it has to happen if it doesn't happen it's not fucking fair so it's like there are rounds like that the majority of the rounds I will benefit 100% and then various individuals will benefit depending on their choice however last round oh I lost my ass it was it was good though. It's good because it shows you that it's legitimate. If we did not have that round, you guys would be like, "We're getting to the reserves again. This is looking weird." So I'm I'm thankful for last round. At the same time, I lost my ass. <laughs> it was fun though. It was good. It was good. It was very good. We needed that. I kept beg like I kept begging for a while. Like, hey. We need you guys to hit the high tiers early or else this is looking sus. And then we hit them. We hit them. And then this round, we hit one early again. So it was like, great. Now, if anybody ever says shit, I can be like, link, link. I could have done it before, but I would have to do a little digging because it it it's it been like a uh, well over like three weeks since we hit a high tier early. Maybe a month even. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get the nightly entries. Macus is already probably well ahead of it. On the top near the search bar, the very left icon will show you all the threads. On the top near the search bar, the very left icon... Magus, you're a fucking saint. Ah, Magus, you're a saint. You're a saint. All right, we got them all. Dama's B-Day 2024. Fuck yeah, let's do it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to change the hand cam. I'm going to go to the camera. Wait, wrong one. Where's the wheel? Wheel's here. There we go. All right. Exit out. Let's add all of these ones. So, Pokemon. Pokemon 151 Nightly. Wait. So, Macus, I have... Wait, Pokemon did... Um, I think he did more for the Nightly. Hold on. Let me take a look at this, Macus. I think Pokemon did more to the Nightly. He did one here. One, two, three. Yeah, so Pokemon has for tonight... Pokemon has four for tonight. And Kieran has... Two. Okay, let me let me take a look here. Kieran. Okay, so Pokemon is four to tonight, slightly. So Pokemon has forty. Okay, and then Edwin has one. Mal has one. Kieran has two. Uh, Elijah has one or er, ten. Uh, Choppa has ten. Uh, Claudio has... Claudio's 12? Claudio? Claudio's 12, really? Claudio, look at you, brother. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, Claudio... Wait, I have one... An LB for Claudio. Did Claudio... I don't think Claudio did an LB. Let me look. Claudio did 10, 10, 10. Claudio spent 30 tonight. Okay. Claudio's 3. Okay. Um... Tyson, Tyson has, oh, but Claudio got a free one. That's why. Maccus, I get it now. I got it. Maccus, I'm not looking at chat, but I understand because they got the entries. Okay. I got, I got you now. I totally got you. So that means Chop, that's how Choppa got 10. Gotcha. And then Tyson got, gotcha. Because Tyson got it from a nuisance. Okay. I totally get it now, Maccus. You're probably about to write it to let me know. I gotcha. 100%. Thank you, Magus. No, Magus is right on. He's right on. Okay, Ryan. Oh, man, Billy. Billy got four. I had, a, I had an oopsie moment. And then Ethan has ten. Okay. So we're going to shuffle this up. The first one we're going to run is the Umbreon, and then we're going to run the Charizard. So we're going to shuffle that up. Let me just double check. You guys can see. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The winner of the Umbreon is going to be... Sipping my beer, just chilling. Hey, Claudio! Congratulations, man. Claudio, you're gonna win this. Claudio, you're gonna win the uh, the uh, Umbreon Nearmint Eight. Congrats, Claudio. Good job, Claudio. 
And then uh, the other individual who's going to win is going to be... The winner of the Charizard EX SIR is going to be... <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> that was a different spot, too. That was a different spot in a different role. That was not in the same spot as the first one. That's funny. Claudio, you also won the Charizard SIR. Claudio, you're having a fucking night, dude. Charizard. You, I mean, Claudio, you also got the Charizard SIR. Um, I'd regrade it. It got a 9 when we graded it, but it was a coin flip 9. I'd just regrade it. Uh, Claudio, I did say I would regrade this if the individual who won it wanted me to regrade it for them. So, Claudio, if you would like me to regrade this for you, I can. If you don't and you just want me to send it off to you, let me know. Little do you guys know, Claudio is my third alt account. <laughs> I see reroll. Wait, why? What did? I, who did I miss? I did have one entry. Why wasn't it in? The, oh, Kazantha got an entry. <gasps> Claudio, poor fucking Claudio, dude. Uh. I was zoning out tonight, so I missed some entries. I guess. <sighs> All right, we got to reroll. It's the roll. Claudio, I am sorry this has occurred. My GF said she really wanted that card. Claudio. Claudio, 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 Claudio. Uh, Claudio, can can I semi make it up to you with a ghastly? <laughs> can I semi make it up to you with a ghastly? Can I make it up to you with a ghastly? I feel bad. Can I give you can I give you a ghastly? Would that make up for it a little bit? Claudia, I'm gonna give you a ghastly. We gotta re-roll the other ones. You could still win. You could still win. But we gotta re-roll. I'm gonna give you a ghastly, Claudio. Max is fired. <laughs> to be fair, Claudio has the wrong amount of entries in the wheel to begin with. In all technicality. No, he had he had 13. I looked in uh PayPal. He had one. Two, three. He had he had three that he did himself, and then ten that were given by Pokemon. So he he did have the correct amount. We just have to add Kazantha. Kazantha was the only one we didn't have in there. So let's get Kazantha, uh, the one entry, and we'll reroll. We have we got to do it. It's the roll. If it's not fair, it don't count. I will uh, give. I, I the only individual that lo loses out here is me because I lose a Gasly. But like it's fine. I don't fucking care. Wait, if you're given Pokemon, you have to give Claudio something like a 70% lucky back for free. <laughs> but didn't Pokemon want to give the entries to the individuals? Pokemon, did you want to give the entries to the people you gifted the bags to? Was that what we were doing? Right? Pokemon got, uh, he got LBs. Yeah, for the, oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, Macus. Macus is completely right. Hold up. So, Cla er, yeah. Pokemon, were the LBs you bought for other people? Do you still you still wanted the entries for those, right? Yeah, it was to it was totally wrong then if he wanted the entries himself. Then it was totally wrong. He said no. He wanted oh, okay. So then Pokemon's entries were incorrect then. So he only had 20 entries. So this this is the corrected entries. This is correct. This one is correct. So we're gonna shuffle it out. Oh, I no shot! I can just do that. I don't have to click. I can just press fucking space bar. Ugh. All right. Sorry. Revelation. All right. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. The winner of the Umbreon is gonna be. Elijah. Elijah. Congratulations. Oh, it didn't work that time. It fucking scrolled me down. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, congratulations. You're going to be getting the Umbreon. The Nearman 8 Umbreon. Elijah. My man, Elijah. Let's go. Elijah. All right, where's Elijah? Where's the homie Elijah? Ethan, Ian Chava, Billy, Tyson. 
Pokemon, Pokemon. Where the fuck's Elijah, dude? Elijah. <laughs> I know I made a bag for Elijah. Elijah, I'm gonna put that to the side there for you. Alright. And then the next one is the Zard. The Zardy boy. The winner of the Zard is gonna be. Now you scroll up a little bit. There we go. Winner of the Zardo. Fucking Claudio! Fucking <laughs> Claudio! <laughs> That's great. That's funny. Claudio, nice. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Claudio, you're going you're gonna to fucking win. The <laughs> you're, you're still going to win the Charizard. That's good. That's awesome. All right, Claudio. You're still winning the Charizard. Your girlfriend's going to be happy, Claudio. You're not going to get you're not going to get crucified tonight by her. You you can you can still tell her you won. <laughs> That's great. Claudia, you're going to win the Charizard. Hell yeah, dude. It graded a nine. Again, I would suggest regrading it. Do you want us to grade it for you, Claudio? It's meant to be. It's fucking meant to be at this point. No shit. Albert said no shuffle. After we do the initial shuffle, we don't, have, we don't have to do another. It's not like a rule. We don't have to fucking do it. I'll trade that Zard for Umbreon, perhaps. Elijah, if you want to trade your Umbreon for a Zard, they're the same price. You could do it. It's I don't know if Elijah's here, if he even knows he won. Let me let me is Elijah in the Discord even? Is Elijah in the Discord? At Elijah Oh, is he Elijah dot six 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 nine? That's funny. Uh I'm I i do not know. I'm just gonna you won the I'm just gonna assume it is. You won the Umbreon slab. I'm assume that's him. If it's not, fuck, this guy's gonna be upset with me. <laughs> Ha, I will I wouldn't I wouldn't grade it. I would grade I wouldn't grade it. You wouldn't put an N and a T there if you didn't mean would. <laughs> as well as Claudius Jobs. I yeah, I don't know if Elijah's here. I'm I, I added him in the Discord. I think that's him. I don't know. Elijah won if he shows up and he's like, hell yeah, I won the slab sweet. If he never shows up again, it'll go in a repo bag and one of you guys will inevitably get it. If anyone deserves a win, it's Claudio. Been buying constantly in the OG. Exact. Yeah, Claudio deserves a W, man. Claudio deserves a W. I agree with that. Claudio, you're going to get the Charizard. Uh, I would want to grade it. Or I would, wouldn't want to grade it. Claudio, confirm for me. Do you want or do you not want to grade it? I I am paying the grading fee for you. Chopper needs a win. Chaba, Chaba does need one. Was that Chaba? Was the last time you won it? No, Chaba, had a, Chaba won some fucking incentives the other, the other night. He won like two big ones. That was now nah, that was like a week ago, wasn't it? So he's a little overdue. He's a little overdue. And give him one point. <laughs> Is it for sure? All right. So Claudio, let me know, man. I'll grade it for free. You don't have to fucking pay a thing. He said. Exclamation mark. Claudio's like, fuck yeah, dude. I'll fucking grade it. Claudio, I'm gonna, you don't lose anything by me grading it for you. If anything, you may, if it grades a 10, you, you, you get, this turns from $100 to $300 plus, And I, sh and you just have to pay shipping. Grade, please. All right, Claudio, I'm going to grade this for you. All right. Hell yeah, Claudio. I love to see that. Claudio. Nice, dude. Where are my graders? There, there. The grading. All right. Sweet. Thank you all so much for tonight. I enjoyed this. This was a fun birthday stream. Um, I had a good time. It was fun. We got to talk about stuff. We got to rant about shit. We we had some drinks. Um, what what do we what do we inevitably come to the conclusion of? Uh, we inevitably came to the conclusion that at the end of the day, I gotta put these in this. At the at the end of the day, uh, transparency is good. Pay your taxes. If any fucking spy weasels from other communities want to say anything to me, say it to my fucking face, pussy. Um, and I'm going to keep rocking and rolling each stream, doing what we do here. You know what I mean? We're going to have a good time. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Let's have a good day. Do, do me a favor. My birthday wish is that all of you have a good fucking day. Enjoy yourself. Right? Do something good tonight. Have a drink for your boy, even if I'm not there. Right? Uh, enjoy yourself. Um... Good night, everybody. Thank you all so much, and enjoy.